hot comic book movie news Shooting up your butthole The Weekly Planet, The Weekly Planet Welcome back everybody to another episode of The Weekly Planet where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. My name is James, also known as Mr. Sunday, and with me as always, I do believe, uh, I do declare Oh my goodness <laughs> That I'm here with my good friend Nick Mason. We're going southern, are we? Southern gentlemen? Southern gentlemen, Australian accents. Though. Okay. Yeah. Let's crack out these mint juleps and we'll, we'll be ready to go. <laughs> Absolutely. James, I'm here. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to podcast. I'm present. I'm doing stretches. Wow. I'm ready to go. What's the stretches for? To be like my idol, The Rock. <laughs> he would do stretches and then he would lift a big thing. He right? would do stretches, wouldn't he? Would he would be in the Iron Castle or whatever. What is, what's his gym called? The Pig Pen. I don't know. It's called um, <laughs> Iron... Parrot, Iron Paradise? Iron Paradise, there Is we go. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or the pig pen. <laughs> the pig pen. <laughs> and doesn't it go with him? Like he takes it places? Like if he goes, uh, like uh, pack oh, it up in so? a jet I'd, or whatever? Wouldn't, wouldn't I mean the me. weight allocation to do something like that, you Yeah, know? right. Mm-hmm. If yeah, it's yeah. true. Yeah, I may yeah. be making this up. But maybe if he goes to other places, maybe he goes internationally and they just have a regular gym. Maybe that doesn't like he can. He, it, it I, doesn't. It doesn't give him any form of exercise at all. At well, this no, point. no you, you, funny you say that because I remember hearing. It is funny that I say. I say a lot of funny things. James. Okay, I meant funny in the sense that like, <laughs> not yet, not thus far, yeah. not thus far today, but eventually I will. That I, oh no, I've set myself a real goal I can never <laughs> achieve. Now it's I'm in my head. I can't say anything funny. I I can't remember whether who I heard this from or when I heard it, mm-hmm. but the rock. I know, and again, it might not even be The Rock, but he, I'm pretty sure it was. He was coming to Australia for something. Would it have been one of The Rock's enemies based on what you No, 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 it wasn't okay. like that at all. And the gym he was going to, his people rang ahead to make sure they had heavy enough weights, yeah, right. which I also think is like a PR thing. Sure. Because, you know, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah obviously he's, he's strong, but people are strong. He's a regular human. He <laughs> yeah. is not... He's, he's not, in fact, superhuman. No, exactly. Mm-hmm. He does not, in fact, wield the power of the gods. No. But uh, we will be talking, of course, this week about uh, Black Adam, a movie 14 years in the making. That's right. It's the only thing I've been thinking about every day, Mason. <laughs> Since then. Okay, Since right. then, yeah. What about afterwards? No, it's over. So. Okay. <laughs> It's going to pull that to bed, all right? Yeah, I think so. Well, we will after idea. this episode. But before we get to that, there's time codes below from Collings, who, of course, edits this show. Uh, we've got some great Lord of the Rings news, Mason. Do we? Yeah. And then we've got huh. news for uh, Fantastic Four rumors, a couple of those. Oh, yes. Um, Mephisto in the MCU, Mason. Ooh. Trailers uh, Ahoy for Creed 3. <laughs> Uh, a bunch of DC stuff going on, including uh, one of the one of the old heads leaving, and some movies cancelled and not cancelled, and whatever, whatever. And there's one in particular which we'll save to after Black Adam because it ties into spoilers for that movie. Sure, 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 sure. So yeah, let's get into it, Mason. Okay, I'm just going to read this statement via Variety. Okay, concerning Lord of the Rings. Okay, you're going to read it verbatim. Yeah, yeah. I think okay. you will get the feel of it. You know what's up. So Warner Brothers Home Entertainment. What up, dogs? <laughs> <laughs> it's Peter Jackson. I'm back, you stupid bitches. <laughs> Warner Brothers Home Entertainment is teaming up with blockchain company Alvio to launch the Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Rings, bracket, extended version, Web3 movie experience, which will be available in two different editions that drop Friday, October 21st at Web3 dot wb dot com that's a lot of words to say nft <laughs> we're the first major studios releasing of movies in nft which are uniquely uh unique identifiers that they verify ownership of digital content mason so you know how you can buy a movie and own it yeah sure you can do it on many di- formats yeah. you can do it on a dvd a blu-ray vhs you can you, steal it yeah, yeah steal it yeah, yeah put it on a hard drive yep 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 um Maybe like a novelty one ring might be an option. Sure, like it's got a USB there. stick in it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, UMD. You got UM, You put on a UMD. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, you know? yeah. Laser disc. Yeah, but this yeah. way you pay a lot of money for what is essentially. It's the same. It's, it's the same, the same thing. thing. Yeah, Except, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't physically you get any have trading it. cards or anything. Uh, there are some bonus stuff. I you think get a stick of bubble gum. There. I think you get a golem bubble gum. <laughs> you get a golem bu- bubble gum. It shoots out of your hard drive. Nice, but it. Yeah, I think there's some, like, the menus are different, and I don't know. I think the bonus material is mostly the same. And it's got a unique identifier, James. Don't bury that. It's got a (laughs) unique identifier so people know where you got it. Do you get a Blu-ray? No, I don't think so. What if they delete it off their servers after 20 years? Do you just lose it? No, you lose it. That's how it works. That's great. Oh, it's a unique identifier. Maybe you don't. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. Here's my thing, though. (laughs) Okay. Because I'll forget. My memory is worse than yours. Do you get a physic? Do you get like a digital? Do you get the data to put on something? Or every time you watch it, do you have to stream it from Warner Brothers server? That's a great question. Isn't and it I don't though? know. Somebody better well, be I, asking I'm that assuming it's from it's via web3.wb.com, which is the worst. Okay, web so when web3. Dot, I'm just going to go go here. When web3.wb.com disappears in six to eighteen months, 
your copy will no longer be available. Oh, I just want to say, by the way, web, this website, hate it really bad. Oh, yeah? Just really. <laughs> well, that's not... the magic of Web3. You, you hate it, but you got to pay for it. Yeah. That's, their slogan. <laughs> that's the slogan for, for Web3. <laughs> It, I got a free T-shirt at a developer conference the other day. It says Web3. You yeah. hate it, but you got to pay for it. Okay, so there's, there's a couple of editions as well. There's the mystery edition, which includes a surprise interactive location-based <laughs> navigation menu from one of the three films. What? Shy, Rivendale, Mides and Moria. What if I want the other one? Where yeah. were you to buy, but then buy another one? But what if I still what <laughs> if get the same one? Oh. Uh, where, but, if you know, you buy three times, you, you get lucky. You could get lucky. You could not get lucky. Yeah, you could not you get, get lucky. You get Rivendale three times, <laughs> whichever one that is. The Elven City, Mason. Oh. One of the, the Woodland Elves. I want the gross Hobbit City. That's not – oh, you mean, wait. The Hobbit City, it's delightful, isn't it? They're all yeah, eating carrots it, and having festivals. Yeah, but it probably smells weird. Yeah, it probably does. So it smells like feet. Uh, so which journey – and also that's uh, then 10,000 random mint. Uh, consumers will receive one of these three locations assigned in mystery edition, or you can do the epic edition, which includes this is this is. Well, you're going to want the, you're going to want the epic edition, aren't you? <laughs> well, it includes Lord of. There's nothing nothing says epic more than Lord of the Rings, so you want the epic edition. Yeah, yeah. So it includes all three locations, location yeah, based navigational menus. Now plus, you're speaking my language. Plus bonus image ga- galleries. Now the epic edition, I can get into. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> not included in the mystery edition, and there's only a 999 mints for that. So that's crazy. James? Yep. Fry from Futurama holding a pile of cash, take my money dot gif. Yeah. How much is this? Does it say? <laughs> uh, great question. I'll, I'll hit get started. Oh, so, it's, so it's, that's it's, live. Yeah, it's wiped my hard drive. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. I've lost everything. Oh, no. uh, hang on. Launch your Web3 movie experience from your media wallet and enjoy. I don't have that. I don't know what that is. Let's go. Because <laughs> <laughs> what you want, if you're asking people to pay more money or a product they definitely already have in some format. Like no matter what. Like, Sign up, log in. Oh like my. if you, you've either got you've got DVDs like in a box somewhere or you've you've bought it on a streaming service or it's you can literally watch it on a streaming service currently. What you want is to go to this thing. You've been you've been tricked into this thing. You're like, oh, maybe I will. Maybe I'll get that epic package. And you go there and it's like, you can't buy this with money. You have to open a crypto wallet and convert well, money Well, that's into what it, you can, it says here. Uh, you open an Elvirio, whatever it's called. Oh, sounds package. elven. I like yeah, it. Yeah, or you um, or you can bring your own. It's very small. It's like if you've got your own crypto wallet, oh, you yeah, come yeah, along. Yeah. Uh, apparently, the app, the 999 ones, that's, uh, they're $100 each. So, yeah. You're practically making money. That's right. So yeah. they're going to make at least nine hundred ninety nine hundred dollars. You would see you would see that way, Mason. Right. Wow, <laughs> that's US too. That's US. Yeah, that's wow. a good conversion rate on that. Wow. What? See, what's the thing about this is as well, and mm. because the video game industry went through this recently, you're fucking late, man. If yeah. This is a year late. Right. People know this is terrible. Mm. They, I mean, they knew then, but now they know now even more. So, mm. what are you even offering here? Bonus menus. Christ. Just go to. Go to like you know, go to Deviant Art and type in Lord of the Rings, and you will get a thousand. Safe search p- on. <laughs> yeah, safe search on. Yeah, you get a thousand pictures from like amazing artists that you can then pay for if you yeah. want. Yeah, if you want those pieces, just insanity. What are they doing? I don't know, but it's yeah. great. Yeah, I love just the, the last move of disadvantage. That's that is. We're going to talk about it, I think, when we talk about our movie of the week, James. But uh, what's your movie of the week? I won't spoil it. Yeah, don't spoil it very really. But just. There are some real advantages to being the first mover, and there's some severe disadvantages to being the last this. last out of the gate. Involved and this specifically, this. <laughs> yeah, and it's Warner Brothers every time. It certainly is, isn't it? They're making well, they they're not having a lot of luck this week with the new Gotham Knights game as well. That's it's also not, yeah, I've not, heard that. Apparently, it, it it is good, but it's just choked with just grind, and apparently mm. they change the combat too much. I, I haven't played. I, I, yeah, I also haven't played it. it. I've only seen tweets. I want it to be good. Some people are like, okay, several of your, your characters can't glide around the city until you grind and get the grind for a couple of hours and get the gliding abilities and the stuff like that. The start of Batman Arkham City, you climb a little tower in Bruce Wayne's suit mm-hmm. and Alfred shoots a fucking bat costume at you. <laughs> That's right. And then you're off. Yeah, hell the yeah. The game is it's That's right. just ridiculous. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, you know. There you, there you go. That's a shame. We'll see what the next one looks like, I guess, that Suicide Squad game they're doing. Oh, yeah, that's right. I feel like they are a good developer and they're just getting like a, well, this happens to a lot of developers. They just get choked by all this absolute dreck. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just, a, just a mire of terrible content forced into it. Incredible. Yeah, but I think the b- best case scenario for things like this is that they lose a bunch of money and they stop doing it. Yes, <laughs> so. for sure. I, I'm, I, th- I feel I, I read this week somewhere that perhaps – Warner Brothers' strategy is to get a few hits under their belt yep. and increase the value of the th- of the of the thing, and then sell on yep. DC to absolutely. I think that's to whoever, very possible. But I mean, 
at this rate, they've got to get some hits. <laughs> and, sure. Uh, I mean, they have a back catalogue, I think. And that's, that's true. That's, a back catalogue. Uh, thank you very much. Anyway, we should move it forward, Mason. We are going to come back to I'm to being more. present in the moment. Yeah. One more stretch for the road. That's looking good. Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I get you get muscles from stretching. Right? Yeah, it's mostly just stretching. Yeah, it that's gets the thought, blood yeah. flow happening and yeah, yeah. And okay, right. That's what the rock does. He doesn't lift anything. That's he's, what I thought. He's in yeah. there stretching. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we're going to come back to some Warner Brothers stuff, though, specifically DC. But let's go via. Let's do some Fantastic Four stuff. This is via Jeff Snyder, who's had some big hits news recently. Mason. Oh yeah, big hits news. <laughs> yeah. One of the things he said recently is that Adam Driver could play Reed Richards, brackets Mr. Fantastic, Ooh. in uh, the Fantastic Four movie or potentially Doctor Doom. So I think the thing with Adam Driver, oh yes, I, I would prefer him to do a Reed Richards because he's done the Sinister Mask fallen guy oh, of course with a scar has, yeah. on his face. But that's whatever. how Hollywood works, isn't it? You do you do the Sinister yeah. Mask guy once and they're like, he's a Sinister Mask guy. But he's also, I feel like he's smarter than that, right? Or he'd want to challenge himself to wear a different spandex potentially. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but then he might go. But I will have the chance to do that after they've paid me ten million dollars for this role. And if he does the mask, he doesn't have to be there, really, does he? That's true. Yeah, yeah. He can just hang about. Yeah. So I do hope. But also, Reed Richards is he can he, do Marriage Story too. He could on, on his time off. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. This he, time it's double divorce. Oh, really? Yeah, that's not the tagline. even more married. <laughs> oh, who reckon? Yeah, a judge has sentenced us <laughs> to be even more married this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they had cup them together. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, <laughs> they're dating other people, but they're handcuffed together. <laughs> <laughs> but Reed Richards is like he's he's bad. He's a bad guy. Like a lot of the times that he's cold and you know it's calculated. Yeah, I think sure. he could absolutely pull off all of those. Yeah, things. definitely. Yeah, I mean the acting. The oh, yeah, he's he's good. He's good at that acting if, thing. If isn't Marvel he? is good at anything, it's casting incredible people who are often too good for the material they are presented with. <laughs> sure. Or rather, or to put it another way, who elevate the material they are given. Delightful. You know, it's never been an issue of like, this guy can't act his way out of a crap. paper bag or whatever. Yeah. Or crap, they might say. Yeah, um, yeah I mean, there's there's certainly no issue with with Adam Driver being, a, you know, being able to wonderfully portray any role he's given. It's yeah. just like, does he suit yeah. Doctor Doom? Is he long enough also? Right? Yeah. Also, is he handsome or not? He is. Yeah, I think he I is. I thought yeah. about it. I saw. I had yeah. an interesting theory that was, uh, which I think is true of famous Hollywood people uh-huh. who are, like, who are good looking and famous. Uh-huh. They have to be. They can't be generic good looking. They have to be good looking, but then there's a quirk that, right. that distinguishes them from a regular generic good looking. But person. I think that I think that is a relatively new phenomenon. Oh, you think? Yeah, yeah. 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 Like we recently, I don't know uh, what we're up to. Earlier. I got too many quirks to be good looking. I feel like I could have dialed back my quirks. You know what I mean? Sure, sure, Went sure. Went too sure. far. That's right. You're always yo-yoing and stuff. Is that one of the quirks you're <laughs> yeah, including? Yeah. I, I feel we. I don't know where we're up to on BigSandwich.co. Sure. But we recently recorded a commentary for Jason. Oh X. yeah, that's actually for Halloween, spooky yeah. time of the year, not that's tax right. time. Um, yeah. That's that's out right now. If you're listening, to this. that's great. Yeah. Well, uh, and something we realized in that is that a lot of the people in that movie, A, look a lot like other actors yeah. and B, or like slightly quirkier versions. Yeah. But like if any of those actors started acting now, they'd probably get more leading roles because they're all kind of like. Everybody looks like somebody who's famous right now in they that do, movie. They yeah. do, yeah. <laughs> but mm. nobody in that movie is famous. No. It's a, it's a bizarre phenomenon, mm. uh, but a pretty entertaining movie. So, yeah, I've got Very some other uh, Fantastic Four stuff here, Mason. This Go is by on. the Cosmic Circus. I want you to also file this into your Rumor Rolodex, if oh, you don't yeah. mind. Yeah. My uh uh-uh. Yes, that's right. So, My <laughs> so um, Silver Surf, apparently there's going to be, as mentioned. The, oh, that was did, my one bit of news. Was it? I'm going to find another bit of news real quick. Ah, Mason, get on it. Or you could just let, what, let this one go to the keeper I'm today. Not you know what I mean? No, 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 no. We're no, coming no. up at the end of the year anyway. I'm going to get some. I'm going to get those back. I'm going to yeah, get the videos back regardless. But uh, the Cosmic Circus, they say that there's a Silver Surfer special presentation coming to Disney+. Plus. Mm. It will feature Norrin Rad as Galactus's Herald out on uh, far corners of the cosmos. Rad will not be on Earth during the special presentation. and will not interact with any of the cosmic characters already established in the MCU. And apparently it will read. He's going to give him the brush off. Yes, that's he's right. Gonna, he's going to be flying busy. through the spaceways and he's going to see them first and then look away. Yeah. As if he didn't notice them. Norrin. Norrin. Be fit a quill. Oh, oh, sorry, man, I had my, I had my headphones in. <laughs> it's hard to tell because they're silver and I'm also silver. Yeah, yeah you probably didn't yeah, notice, yeah, but yeah, I, yeah. Um, mm. Hey, you, you look good, man. It's, <laughs> oh, I get, I'm getting a call. I get yeah, a, actually, I'm yeah. Galactus. No, it's good to see it's you. Galactus. But, yeah. It's Galactus. It's my master Galactus. The he planet wants me to, thing yeah, that I do. He wants me to. You know about my new gig, yeah? I was probably yeah. telling you about it. <laughs> 
Uh, so yeah, apparently going to release a few months before Fantastic Four. If this is true, good. I do like the idea of a special presentation as opposed mm. to something being a whole series or a whole movie. This kind of harkens back, Mason, to, if you will, two things. Oh, I will. One, Werewolf by Night, which just happened. That's right. And two, your Marvel one-shots, you know, but you're on. they're on a bigger budget so they mm. can tell a, a bit of a bigger story. But I guess this also suggests, if this is even true, that they're doing Galactus movie. That's a, as a big cosmic threat. Yes, of course. Up. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. they uh, can. T- they can give. Well, I mean, you know, this this is this special presentation idea might be somewhat akin to the Marvel one shots, but maybe with you know they, they and again they're testing out various lengths of stuff, yep. TV series and movies and what have you. Various lengths of surfboard. Is he doing a longboard? Is he doing a boogie board? Oh, is he doing a yep. snake board? You know those snake boards Don't know that, what that they had. It was no, like no. a wiggly skateboard. Mm. Is he going to have like a big yellow life preserver on him? Mm. Is he going to be in one of those big inflatable donuts? <laughs> Yes. And it just straight up looks like a donut. It looks like a Homer Simpson donut with a pink frosting on it. Uh, so, yeah, what, what do you think about any of that, Mason? If, I like it. I'm true. excited for that. Yeah. I don't know if that's true, though. Yeah. I, we've not seen any official confirmation, correct? No, but I also think if they are going to do this, first of all, big swing doing Galactus out of the gate. Uh-huh. But also they, they've they never done it properly in live action. They had him in the movie, but he was a big cloud, and I feel like the MCU now is the kind of place where, like, you're getting a big purple helmet dude. Oh, like for it's, sure, it's happening. yeah, absolutely. So I, I think I think they're trying to fill in all those blanks of now of things that people would, didn't think would could happen. Yeah, like it will be like Wolverine and yellow spandex and yeah. Whatever, in whatever. fact, I think I saw on Twitter that there, there was just a very a recent release of like one of those Marvel Legends action figures, and it is giant Galactus. Ooh. And every time they do they do something like that, I'm like, are they priming the general public for like, yeah, you know, that gets out there, it gets on social media, and people are like, oh, very intriguing. Mm. You think Big Galactus? Is they're ramping up for Big Galactus? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Big okay. Galactus. Yeah. Very excited. Here's a piece of news, James. Wow. One bit? What's one bit of news? Mm. This is fresh and we can go through it together. Wow, okay. This is from comicbook.com. Oh. Batgirl, Michael Keaton's paycheck for Batman Return reportedly revealed. Oh, I didn't know this. Hello. Oh, okay. For yeah. Batman Returns, wasn't that from 1992 No, or no, that's what I thought as well and then I misspoke, but it says ba- Michael Keaton's paycheck for Batman Return. Let's do it. <laughs> Batman Return. The Batman Return. I'm not getting that bit of news. I've just opened up comicbookreview.com okay. and I'm not getting it. Uh, let's see. Uh, on Friday, a deep dive from The Hollywood Reporter revealed that Michael Keaton received $2 million to appear as Bruce Wayne Batman in Batgirl in what the report describes as a glorified cameo. Yeah, makes so sense. So five minutes work probably. Yeah. Day's work? Not bad. Probably a few at least. Yeah, I can yeah, do at least yeah, three yeah. or four. Not worth it then, obviously. No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. According to the report, Keaton only participated in a week's worth of work on the film, which had already wrapped production and was in the middle of post-production before being cancelled. That's right. Yeah. I remember yeah. that part of it too. Yeah. So he still obviously got paid regardless. I mean, everybody got paid for that, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Batman. Ben Affleck's at iteration will actually be appearing in the Aquaman sequel. That's true. It seemed like fun, Keaton said of his Batman return. Sure. It seemed like fun. It seemed like fun. It seemed like I had fun I was from kidding. what I could tell that's right. of me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If <laughs> I know me, that's something I'm, I would think. These days on set, I just sort of, I my, my brain goes elsewhere. <laughs> I'm thinking about the Wordle usually. <laughs> I really want to think about a w- the Wordle all day before I take a run at it, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I was curious what it would be like after this many years. Not so much me doing it, obviously, some of that, but I was just curious about it, weirdly, socially. This whole thing is gigantic. They have their entirely own world. So I look. So I like to look at it as an outsider thinking, holy moly. Yeah, yeah, you would, would And it's classic Keaton. No, I love that. Yeah, he's, always, he's always having a good time. Yeah. So I guess for the flash, flash money would have got paid at least 10, probably yeah. closer to 15, That's maybe. Right. Wow. Fascinating stuff, stuff of a thing we'll never see, probably, or it'll leak at some point. God, it's astounding it hasn't leaked already. Yeah, there's maybe there's too many. Maybe they've got the, the people involved, uh, you know, under that pain of death NDA kind of thing, and they're like, we're not going to risk this until nah. this expires. Exactly, we get better lawyers. Yeah, or that like the old Warner Brothers guard, they're constantly cycling out people, which. Actually, we can do that now. Oh, no, before we do that, we've got some, we've got some other news, Mason. It's very naive of you to think that I would move to that right now. Oh, yes. Uh, this is by Deadline. So Sasha Baron Cohen is apparently joining, joining the MCU as Mephisto. Ooh. Now, there was a lot of Mephisto speculation, uh, first of all, in uh, WandaVision and That's then right. various times since. It's become a bit of a meme. That's you know? right. And now, now interest has completely cooled off. Yep. We're releasing a series of Mephisto and NFTs. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So apparently it's going to start in Ironheart. Which I, I guess see, is as good okay. a place as any. Sure. Why not? How, do you think he's going to be doing wacky, sexy well, devil I think stuff? The, the, I think maybe we've spoken about this before. The rumor of he's in Mancini is my question. That's my. Oh yeah, question. yeah. I see, we're going with that. Yes, yes, yes. Pro- almost certainly. Yeah. But it's red, obviously, or yeah. black. If mm. he maybe he's red. Sure. And it'd be black. Black. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 
Um, I think was we've talked about before. There was a rumor that one of the villains of Ironheart might be the Hood, the magic powered villain. He okay, the, he's a he's a, like a low level street criminal. He's, Finds a hood that gives him magic powers, yeah, 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 and cloak and so forth. Yeah. So maybe that's where he gets them. And and originally, I believe, canonically, the it was from a different demon. But then later, they're like, we we will tie it all together. We'll make him yeah. a fist. was fine. Yeah. So that that maybe that's it. If this if the original rumor is true, cool. this one could also be true. Sorry, my phone alarm has gone off for some reason. Oh, oh yeah, that was my message from that was my alarm for this morning. <laughs> Turns out I set it for PM instead of AM. That's terrific stuff. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate. You set it for eight fifty one AM. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I was away, Mason. Oh yeah. Okay. And so I was. I was like, I'm gonna get up because we're gonna get out of this All place. Right, okay. But I was having a good. We've time. got nine minutes. We have to leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, I like the idea of also Ironheart. Her not just fighting uh, Iron Man. And a evil, evil Iron Ironheart Man, so, girl. So, yes, yeah, that's absolutely. Great. Mm-hmm. That's good stuff. Yep. If true. So there you go. Trailers ahoy. Uh, we got a couple of posters and then a trailer this week for Creed, third Creed oh, movie. Sure did. Yeah. Creed's back. And, this time and now is, Jonathan Majors is huge. That's right. He was always huge-ish, but now, now he's even more huge. Now, he's gonna now he is some sort of – he is some – he's a man from – He's from, an old friend of Creed. Okay, from Creed's past. And he goes, I could have been Creed. Could have been Creed. But you're If Creed. I wasn't busy. Yeah. If I wasn't so busy <laughs> doing even more push-ups and crunches. Yeah. And they were like, do you want to get into some of this boxing stuff? And he's like, nah. No, thank you. I'm too busy doing crunches, yeah, actually. Yeah, 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 And then 25 years passed and it was too late. Yeah. Then he's 25 like, years worth of crunches for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> Who is is this? Is this? I a, think it's the childhood is, friend. Okay, but he's not. A, he's not. A, he's not related to. I thought any it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like maybe another of Apollo Creed's kids, kids or right, whatever. Yeah. Um, but no, apparently it seems like I reckon it's not going to be one of those childhood friend situations. And you know they both take separate paths, and he ended up going to jail. But 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 Creed took this other direction. Mm, not jail. Not jail. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, and then he's like, it's 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 got that Clubber Lang kind of vibe as well as like a yeah. guy who's not been pampered in any sense. He's just an absolute for sure, yeah, 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 out and about yeah. looking to do some big boxing. And did we know this already? This is uh, Michael B. Jordan's directorial. I think debut. we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah, but maybe you didn't know that. I probably, I almost certainly yeah. didn't know that. Creed movies are really solid, and yeah. there's there's some of the best Rocky movies. So I would even say the Rocky movies in general, very yeah. solid set for of sure. films yeah, all yeah. around. And also, you know, Tessa Thompson's character creating some beautiful music. No, bad music. <laughs> bad music. I wonder if they're going to acknowledge any of that or that if she's deaf anymore. Have they, have they dropped that? Great question. <laughs> but no, we'll see. We'll see what happens and everybody's getting big muscles and they're going to hit each other. That's right. And this should be interesting. I did see the, like a bunch bunch of criticisms that were like, it doesn't even look like they're really hitting each other. It's like, well, they're, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some of it, but it's mostly them not hitting each other. I mean, I would say the vast majority of the movie is is, is people not hitting one <laughs> Oh, yeah? Another. Yeah. Okay. Would you Most wanna, of the runtime. Yeah, you would have put a percentage on it, or would that, you're not quite ready to commit to that? I'm going to say 85% of the movie is people not hitting each other. Wow, that's yeah. pretty good. That's yeah. A, yeah. That's great. It's really I mean, it's still nonstop thrills. Yeah. Tessa Thompson's making all that music. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's do some DC stuff, Mason. Uh, you probably heard this week that Walter Hamada, who was the former head of DC and Water Brothers, all of that. He's out now. He's out on his caboose. He had a tumultuous run. I know him and Ray Fisher had many a run-ins. There was various accusations and all of that, and the whole regime of DC films, uh, as it often is and always has been, maybe not always, not a, not, it wasn't a great time, was it? No, <laughs> it hasn't been a solid not. 10 years. Mm. There's a, there's, don't get me wrong. But it's okay. There's a new 10-year plan. Exactly. So we're in always phase, a new 10-year plan. We're in <laughs> phase one again, according to The Rock or yeah, whatever. that's right. Which is, so Black Adam is phase one or is it the start James, of phase James, one? James, 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 not again. <laughs> this is DC's 10-year plan. It's just starting Oh, now. this is it. This okay. is it. There's never been a previous 10-year plan. Yeah. Don't even worry about but it. But anything that people might like, they might bring back? Sure, yeah. 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 But no, that's not to say there hasn't been good stuff in there because there, there obviously has. But the direction is just, but they've been zigzagging all over the place. Mm. And part of the, that, part of that, for example, is uh, Emerald Fennell's Zatanna movie is dead. She did Promising Young Woman. Ah, oh, sure, okay. I think she could have made a good Zatanna movie, but now she's not going to do that. Mm. And she's going to make an even more promising young woman. You now, promising that <laughs> sure, last yeah, one yeah. was. Uh-huh. This one's got even more yeah, potential. Even more promise. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's really great. Yeah. So that's a shame. Uh, Zatanna could have been good, but then she's again, so organized this one. She's got a big binder. <laughs> yeah, that's right. She's got a got a journal and a diary. Yeah, it's all tabbed. Yeah, it's all tabbed. <laughs> I was making the symbol for being tabbed. She's not she's licking being... her thumb though. Is she? She's got one of those little sponges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. She's oh not my a, god, she absolutely a, does. Yeah. Not a... First thing she does every day, she she organizes a desk. She puts a little water on that on that yeah. sponge. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. So yeah, maybe they went. Hey, we we got a magic guy. We 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 got a magic guy already, <laughs> right. and there's another magic guy in Marvel. 
There's too mm. many magic guys, so no. The other thing is apparently, this is according to THR, James Gunn has pitched a mystery movie to DC, uh, or could be, uh, or and potentially more. So when you say a mystery movie, you mean the movie he has pitched is a mystery to us, not it is a mystery like a murder mystery. Yeah, no, that, that's exactly it. It might okay. even be a mystery to him, though. He's like, I don't know. I'm just going to start shooting and see who's there. <laughs> That's right. See what costumes whoever's we have. in the room, whatever we got, sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh, mostly CG. Oh, we can do anything then. That's fine. I'll just get whoever I want in and they can just say whoever they want to be. <laughs> did you notice Pierce Brosnan's uh, span, uh, CG spandex? I did, yes. Because you can see around the neck. It's like yeah. there's no like, uh-huh. I mean, he's a magic man, isn't he? Yes. He's got that helmet. I don't mm-hmm. know if you saw that. We'll yes. talk about it. Mm-hmm. And there's another character again that might be getting potential uh, movie, which we'll talk about after Black Adam spoilers. But also in terms of uh, The Flash... This is via My Time to Shine Hello on Twitter. Oh, yes. He says, the idea is to recast The Flash after Flashpoint. Here's the tweet, Mason. Get ready. I'm ready. I hear they have a short list in place with George McKay at the top. Uh, he was from 1917. He's the lead in that. Huh. I think uh, It's probably too old then, mate. <laughs> 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 yes, good. Uh, the only decision they'll make uh, after The Flash arrives is which actor will be the one to replace Ezra. And whoever's in the room at the time. Yeah, exactly. Whoever gets, we're, we're, Who fits this? We're developing, the system we've developed is whoever shows up first on the day gets the job. Because at this point, it's, it's whatever. Fine. Yeah, it's whatever, it's fine. So apparently Ezra Miller went back for some flash reshoots as well recently. Mm. So I think they're just like, let's just get this. Let's just, can we just get through this? You please just finish this. <laughs> <laughs> and it's probably coming out. You're in one of the one and a half movies we're going to release next year. So if you could. Well, let's get into that. Now, Mason, uh, Warner Brothers are only allowed to release two movies, remember, towards the back That's end That's correct. Of the year. So they'd better be bangers. <laughs> they'd yeah. better be unmitigated successes yes. that everybody loves. Rotten Tomato scores are 90% or above. Certified fresh. Uh, so they'd better start paying people off is true. what I'm saying. That's what they do. Yeah. User reviews obviously would have to be additionally through the roof. Oh, yeah. Uh, the first one was... The, Don't that? worry, darling. Yep, that one. Okay. I haven't seen it. Yep, also haven't seen it. But I did read an article that spoiled it, and I'm like, that's fine. That'll do. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, I get it now. All right. So not a big hit. The, not- it seems to be asking the same questions I would be asking if I watched that movie. I'd mm. be like, hmm, what's the deal with the thing there? Okay. Sure, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, you get the experience of yeah, yeah. having questions about very, a movie. Very evocative article. <laughs> it was like I was there. No yes. doubt. And the other one, of course, is Black Adam. Uh, when I watch the movie, I'll be like, v- v- big Time Magazine vibes coming off this <laughs> coming off this article, look at this movie. That's it. So uh, the second one, of course, is Black Adam, which is, uh, as mentioned, finally here. Uh, it was cast 2008, 2009 maybe. Yeah, uh-huh. They've mm-hmm. just been sitting on it. Uh, in terms of box office. When the rock had hair. When the rock had hair. Yeah. All the early fan heart. He had shaved his head. Yeah. And he, he continues to shave continues his head to, shave to, this, it. to this day. But if you go back to like the early fan heart, he's got, uh, he's got the, the widow's peak slick back. Which you know, is the traditional kind the of Black book. Adam look, yes. Look, but now they'll change the comic, so he's got this look, obviously. Uh, yeah. <laughs> for a bit at least. So they're just over DC editors are over there, over there artists being like, no, veinier, more veins. <laughs> so a uh, $195 million budget. Uh-huh. Uh, not surprised at all by that. Speaking of, yeah. just to cut you off there. Sure. Recently I learned, and this is from uh, editor Matt yeah. on Twitter. He pointed out that uh, Pirates of the Caribbean 4 is the most expensive movie ever that made. Either. That's incredible. It cost $400 million. And? Yes. Who, what's it? What is it? I don't even know which one it is. I don't know which one it is. No, I don't I know do. what the subtitle it's, is. It's the one with Penelope Cruz and the mermaids. And it's got no... Is that the way we're ending, when, 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 when magic ends or something? Or is that five? Where magic ends. There's one where the, 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 the quest is to go out and get a thing that destroys all the magic in the world. That's a great that question. Isn't it, though? It's the one that's got... Um, What's his fucking name? He's in Deadwood. He's the bad guy. He's Blackbeard or something. Oh, I remember that one, Bacon. Yeah, okay, right. Scott, that's the one based on a book that it's, un- it's an unrelated book and they just kind of adapted it very loosely. Yeah, yeah. that's the problem. Yep, yeah, yeah, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I reckon, it, is. I reckon, no, I reckon it is. On Stranger Tides. Yes. That's the subtitle. It's on Stranger Tides. It might not be it, though. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, right. anyway, so but this. So uh, relative bargain, $195 million. I think so, for what you're getting here. Uh, 60 to $62 million, they look at looks in terms of a US opening weekend, okay. which is not terrible. It's uh, mid. Yeah, Mid. Well, it's not, it's not Mid. that bad, but... No, no, James. You can say that all you like, but I can easily refute you by going, oh, mid. That's a good point. It's mid. And I did get emotional, so you, you won. That's <laughs> true. Yeah. Uh, and maybe, and it seems about $30 million, uh internationally on top okay, of that. Sure. So 90 to $100 million worldwide, I would say. But this is via Gatish Panda 
uh, a tweet that they put out, and this is then again via comicbookmovie.com. They said that even if Black Adam rises to $65 million for the opening weekend, that will be 21% bigger than the 53.5 opening uh, of Shazam in 2019. Sure. Mm-hmm. So factor in three years of ticket prices increases and Black Adam is likely to reach an audience size only 10% bigger than Shazam's with a production cost 100% bigger. Oh, no. So in terms of return on investment, and obviously it, ter- it depends on word of mouth and drop-off and all mm. of these different things, it seems as if at this point – um, it's it's not a disaster by any stretch, but yes. it's not it's not like the most bang for your buck you could you could make with something like this. Luckily, we're not paying for it then. Yeah, and we look, didn't even pay for our tickets. Oh wait, you did. I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but I think also I got a free coke and a popcorn. <laughs> 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 not to brag, and I just don't know whether this is a movie that people are recommending to each other. Either, yeah, right. Which we'll get into. But I but before that, I need to know uh, what Go you on. think the story was. Oh no! Yeah. All right. Um, well, th- this will be easy because a, a young boy does a narration at the start of the movie and he yep. explains exactly where we are. Yep. Be like, hey, you might be wondering what's going on here. Well, I wasn't, but uh, okay, we're in the we're in the we're in the the country of Kandak. It's yep. in the Middle East. All right, and then bloody bloody, uh, there was a back in the day there was an evil guy and he was like, I'm so evil, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> I know. But then the, the the Shazam guy showed up, the wizard guy, and he showed up and he's like, hey, but we make a champion out of yeah. a magic. Hello. We get a guy and we get a magic and put them together. We get a magic guy. Yeah. He'll be the thing. But then. Isn't Shazam wasn't it like we don't normally give this to kids? That's a great question. Yeah. I mean, I've seen movies, yeah, yeah. but I sure. don't know. I've seen I, I liked it. <laughs> That's I don't right. Know. Yeah. Mm. Mm. It's like a last resort to give it to a kid. Anyway, go on. Maybe. But yeah, but kids, kids these days, you know what I mean? It's different, you isn't it? You wouldn't, give, you wouldn't give, you know, omnipotent magical powers to a kid these yeah, days. right. And The Rock would have been, like, back then. He would give have him drugs four. in Halloween candy is <laughs> yes. what you'd give him, you know? He would have, The Rock would have been 14. Just thousands of dollars worth of drugs. You put <laughs> yeah, him in put him in there. Just give it away give for it some away. reason. Give it away. Give it away. Give it away. Give it away, give it give it away, away now. now. That's drugs. right. You'd red hot chili pepper them. <laughs> you'd red hot chili pepper those kids. Um... Uh, but then they, then they did. But then what happened? Where's he gone? He's been gone for 5,000 years. Where's, where's the yeah. guy? Where's the guy? Where's the guy? We're going to find out in the movie Black Adam, let me yeah, tell you that he much. he comes out, he's back. Yeah. He goes, hello, mm. it's the future now, modern day. That's right. Now, I think that was a pretty good summary. I agree. They probably could have used that in the movie. That's right. Let me tell you this, James. We have, well, actually, you know this. Yeah. But let me tell you this, listeners. We have not discussed the movie Black Adam at all. No. Even for a moment before this. Mm. So this will both of these react, whatever these reactions are, They'll be a surprise to us. We should have a camera on each of us yep. so we could do separate reaction videos <laughs> when we tell each other our opinions of the movie Black Adam. We can be like, a Yeah, okay, you sure. Do we, we can do a later. We'll do a later. Do you want to go for after? So not a, not a live reaction. No, we'll do a then. fake one. We'll do, <laughs> yeah, we'll yeah, do yeah, two yeah. fake live reactions. We'll put them on YouTube. Yeah. And we'll, we'll need a lot of... We'll need a lot of like destructible environment around us. Yeah, like, okay. I've got a bottle here yeah. and a microphone. I need. I'll smash some stuff and kick some stuff over because right. I'm astounded by the things you're saying. <laughs> anyway, what did you think of it? I thought it was pretty fun. Okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I guess, James. My my opinions have become completely <laughs> unmoored from reality. I'll tell you that much. I thought this was. Here's the thing. I went into this movie. We've, we've mentioned this before. We've, we, you know, and if if you listen to the podcast on a regular basis, we have been, yeah, talking about this movie for quite a long time, and we've we've seen trailers and we've talked about the Rock's various performances in things, sure, and how you know the the demands of of his camp in terms of what he will do on screen and can he be defeated and all this sort of stuff, mm, and, yeah. Uh, and I went into this. I didn't. I certainly didn't go into this hoping that I would hate it or anything like that. No. Even though I'm a big DC hater, as you know, I only love Marvel movies. It's true, and it's I true, hate it's true. Everything DC. Yeah. But I'm like, I think this is going to be pretty plainly obvious. You know, all the things we know about of the Rock production. Yeah. And I'm like, this is pretty good. I thought he like I enjoyed him because I think the Rock has always been like very charismatic. Right. Like as long as as long as he's been around. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But in terms of like a movie, uh-huh. this is just like the most middle of the road thing I might have ever. That's experienced. interesting. Yeah. And it, I know, like I, I, I love the idea of seeing the Justice Society and, uh-huh. and fancy helmets and Hawkman <laughs> and all Absolute. of them. Oh, there were fancy yeah. helmets galore. By that I mean two. <laughs> Three if you count Adam Smash's mask. Sure. But I wouldn't. I wouldn't either. No. But I just think there was so much about this was just like, why is this happening and this person isn't very interesting? Well, let, let what kind of superhero team is this? They I mean, suck. It's, it, look, it's They're certainly bad. the movie certainly has their flaw. The movie certainly has its flaws. It, it has a number of uh, plot holes that are big enough for uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, actor and famously large man, yeah. to simply comfortably stroll through. Oh, okay. But And we, we can talk about those in spoilers, I think. Yeah. But I liked The Rock in this 
Uh, he's good. Yeah, I he thought is. The, I thought the, thought the supporting cast were good. Like the Justice Society members, I thought were pretty fun and entertaining. Especially Aldous Hodge as as Hawkman. Yeah, I, I thought, thought he was very charismatic. I thought I, I thought he was. I like him. Yep. I've, got, I've got questions about his Hawk abilities. Right. Um, yes. Uh-huh. Which is which is not a plot hole. I'm just curious. That's yeah. not like I'm not being. Well, they didn't exactly explain this, and I don't get it. Right. Like, I'm just. I'm more curious, and I like Pierce Brosnan's Doctor Fate. The other two completely take it or leave. Right. Uh-huh. There's a guy who's. I think. I think they were put together as like a cutesy kind of will they or won't they kind of because we have a we have Atom Smasher and we have uh, Cyclone yeah. who are both kind of rookie heroes. Yeah. Um, but there's just okay. We, we can start on that team though. But just the idea of like. <laughs> The- this is going to be a, re- a real reverse Thor Love and Thunder, I think. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah. I'm going to I'm going to be saying stuff, and you're going to be bewildered by it. Yeah, but again, I didn't. I certainly didn't hate it. It just kind of yeah. washed over me. Even though I liked even some of the um, the non powered supporting cast, the civilians. I'm going to bring up their names because I cannot. If they if they yeah, don't, if little they, family if they, and whatever. If they don't have a superhero name, uh, what does anybody know about? Exactly. Them? We we got we got Sarah Shahi as a as a um a woman who believes in the the the, the myth and the power of. Black I think this Adam. movie could have done with more of her. Actually, and yeah. one bit that I really liked is when the Justice Society come in to to save to save Quandark from yes. Black Adam, uh-huh. and she's like, "What are you doing here? We've mm. been like under we've been under rule for for like yeah. twenty seven years, and you show up when we get a superhero mm. just to batter this dude because you you don't like his lightning powers." Yeah, yeah. Mm. We got um, uh, Mohammed Amir as as Karim, who is Sarah Shahi's brother. Yeah, I, I thought him. he was fun. He's yeah, kind of like yeah. a. Just a, he's sort of like a like a Middle Eastern Jack Black kind of thing, sure, yeah. and he's got a recurring mo- like music, like you know a lot of a lot of um, look. We'll talk. We, we can talk about the soundtrack as well, which I thought was bad, <laughs> yeah. but uh, I like that his like it reminded me of Suicide Squad twenty sixteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah like of... like how every like you know su- superheroes have their various musical motifs. Superman's got one or whatever, and this guy's musical motif is "Baby Come Back" by Player. Yep, just yep. That, I thought that was very funny. Um, not the Ron Moss cover. No, not the. <laughs> cover uh i even thought the um the little kid was not as annoying yeah, as he fine, could be yeah. there's other stuff i think we'll have to talk about in spoilers stuff that i thought was bad yeah i thought the like like you mentioned i think the it, it took that element this this script also must have been in development for a long time oh, yeah. i think i think the plot holes in this have come down to in a lot of instances a bunch of rewrites they're like this didn't work so we'll rewrite it and we've been left with another plot hole. i can't but, imagine dr fate was in the original incarnation of this movie right. not a fucking chance in hell they saw dr strange and went yeah we'll do that well see that's the thing i think what is interesting about this movie and i think we mentioned it earlier in news is that i think i've seen some criticism of this movie that's just like oh it's so derivative of marvel and there's you know do- well dr fate is just dr strange and Adam Smasher is just Ant Man, and uh, I think that Hawkman the, is literally just Falcon because he's got the wings and the shield. Yeah, but the, he's, he's, uh, I think they elevate, like as we yeah. talked about earlier with Marvel, like it being Pierce Brosnan and uh, Aldous Hodge. Yeah, yeah. Name? yeah, yeah. I think they they bring a lot to that, which, I think they do, which yeah. helps. Yeah, uh-huh. but just okay. So Black Adam itself, like, but, it, but it's also a function of like. You just have to get in first because so Marvel and DC. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, they everybody's or do it way better. Or do it way which better. Which this didn't. I yeah, right, right. right. Uh-huh. I mean, I, don't get me wrong. I love seeing the big gold helmet and he's in and out of the costume and all of that. And he's got uh-huh. vague. He can see the future powers yeah, yeah. and whatever. I lo- I liked all of that. I wish they had have explored more of his abilities. Yeah, and it wasn't just multiple guys and triangles, which was yeah, also I true, know yes. your problem with the original Doctor Strange, yes. where it was just firecracker kung fu. Yeah, this was that. But well, for, absolutely, I agree with that. I think the. The strongest part of Doctor Fate was that Pierce Brosnan was doing it. And I think yeah. he, I think his performance was good and interesting. And I loved his outfits. In the, one yeah. moment on the plane, he comes out and he's just in his like his, his, his not- beautiful robe. He's got <laughs> yeah. a beautiful silk robe. He's like, I've been in the drawing room or whatever. Yeah, I thought his performance was great. Yeah, like the the, the strongest part of that character was Pierce Brosnan doing that character, but the weakest part was again just you've got a character with seemingly unlimited power. Yeah, and and like I loved seeing the multiple guy thing. The first time it happened, right? Uh-huh. But then he just keeps doing it, mm. and so. But just to get back to Black Adam, yes. there was a lot of just like him, t- him, people telling him he's a hero, and then he's like, "I'm not a hero." Yeah. But then, like a minute later, he's like, "I'll, I'll catch that kid or whatever." Yeah, I guess I'll be a hero. And there, there, <laughs> I felt like it was repeating itself. Like there were mm. there was twice in this movie where he picked up two guys and took them up to the sky to drop them yes. to somebody else uh-huh. to catch them. But I, but there's things that I liked about him. He sat in the chair. Like, sure the, did. like the comic book. Oh my Mason. god! Yep, he sat in that have chair. You, have you seen the thread on Twitter of superheroes sitting, sitting in that in the chair? chair? Yes, <laughs> no, I have seen yeah. that. Uh-huh. Uh, I like how, and this changes the movie progresses. 
he doesn't he doesn't walk and he doesn't stand. He floats. He everywhere, floats yeah. for like. And there's a moment at the start where the kid is following him down the stairwell, and he's just like slowly dropping down, like uh-huh. having a conversation. Like he doesn't use doors. Like he's just got complete disregard for for humanity. It yeah. seems. But again, it was that thing of like. He, he was just, he's just helping people anyway. Like, you know, yeah, I, I didn't sure. feel the sense of that he was a bad dude or he was killing any more people than Batman or mm. Superman have killed. The villains in this in this movie, is, I don't think it's a spoiler, the 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 initial villainy of this movie is, is intergang, which yeah. is norm, normally like a Superman villain. They're kind of like sort of uh, an international crime syndicate mm. and they're just sort of fairly anonymous. I thought that was pretty uh, disappointing. The only thing they were missing was they were all South African mercenaries. I feel like it yeah. was a perfect opportunity to be like, these are all South African right. guys. I think there needed to be – I would have appreciated like a second-tier villain, yeah. like not who, – who is strong enough to menace regular people but is not a match for Black Adam, like, you know, like Blockbuster or somebody yeah, sure. like, you know, just a big brute – Yep. They they can go, okay, well, we have, you know, we have men, we have soldiers with guns and we have gra- anti-gravity bikes and we also have this guy who just rolls in and, you know, flips cars or whatever. I thought that yeah, would be... I, I'd, ag- I'd agree with that, yeah. because mm. But I think the, the draw of this, was like a lot of it was supposed to be, you're seeing like all the, not the just the Justice League because they I feel like they couldn't do that for various reasons mm. and maybe they're saving it, was getting like superheroes to fight this guy. Yeah. Uh-huh. But I didn't find that particularly entertaining. And I also think... There's a, there's a twist in this, which is in the trailers, where it's like at the start, it's the person who gets the Black Adam powers is is not the Rock. Are you going to spoil it? I think we should take it's it. It's in the trailers. Is it? Yeah. Huh. He's like, my my son was killed and, and then I became a, a bad a, a Black Adam. Like, it's literally oh, okay, in the trailers. Right. Yeah. There you go. And I don't think anybody's going to be tricked by that because you you never see like oh, no, absolutely his not. face, yeah. but he's just like standing around. Like, That's very there's, true. there's a rock and they've like thinned him down. Yeah, I don't know. I just thought this was a very like straight down the line superhero thing. And I'm like, I enjoyed it. But what are they it. hiding though at that point? It's like, oh, I don't what's know, the I'm twist? Being... What are we doing? No, here? no that doesn't work. Um, like, even if you didn't see the trailers, there is no way you wouldn't have mm. seen that. Like, no, coming. that's true. Yeah. But I'm just saying, I think like overall, I just found this to be like a very straight down the line superhero. That is true. Like, you know, they're, 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 I, I feel like this sort of implements most of the tropes of a superhero movie and I just enjoyed the the execution of that. Did you like uh, – I like the idea that the – and it's, it's similar with the Suicide Squad mm. that the – just a society just exists already. I did like that. Did, we didn't need an origin for most of the stuff there. No. I like their little mansion headquarters with the... With they, it's the, the X-Men. they got the X-Men yeah, yeah, jet. Yeah, they got the X-Jet, yeah. There's also a moment where they're like, do you know this jet's indestructible? And then at the end, it gets like batted out of the sky. And I'm like, oh, well, I guess it isn't. Yeah. Like, what a pointless... <laughs> is it? What like, we never see it be indestructible, and then it's just knocked out of the oh, sky right. at the end. We'll see. Look, I... Look, was, was we supposed to go, wow, I thought that jet was indestructible? Yeah, look, logically, the idea behind that is is that it's norm, it's nominally indestructible, but the, the villains are so powerful that it destroys it. But you're right. There is no proof that it is indestructible. <laughs> so maybe Hawkman's just lying. Maybe he's just like, yeah, but, like, nobody's ever shot at it because it's, it's... Yeah, it's indestructible. Sure, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> and there's a... And what, the, and he goes to his mechanic the next day, or the guy who sold it to him. He's like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You said this was indestructible. <laughs> that there's a moment where you know, Pierce Brosnan's like, the world needs the Justice Society. And I just don't believe that. Because first of all, it's four people, and that's not enough. But I guess Black Adam is the fifth member, I guess, right, yeah, yeah. by the end. But also... The Justice League. Most of is them a... don't know each other. That's true. Or they're just starting out. Mm. And one of them is like a really big guy who run in who run in and do a big punch and then someone will knock him over. Uh-huh. Like he's terrible. That's true. He's a terrible member of the team. And they're a terrible unit. There's a moment when they go to Black Adam and they're like, we're gonna make this guy stop. Where's he from? Ancient Egypt. Oh, he was a he was a slave, was he? Yeah, we'll go and we'll make we'll ask him to kneel. You yeah, fucking yeah. idiot. Also, you can see the future, you fucking dumbass. He can see what some you, of the future. Some of the in future. A very vague, he can, <laughs> James, he can see what the screenwriter requires of him to see of the future. Well, that's exactly right. Two, Look, I'm hungover. Maybe yeah, that's you are, you, you've been on a dad's weekend. Um, two th- here's the two sides of that coin. One, you're absolutely right. It was incredibly dumb. And I, I wonder how much influence The Rock had on this script in the sense that they just, instead of going in and saying, hey, just so you know, I, you mu- you, you're probably confused because you've been away from Earth for 5,000. You've been away, yeah. f- you, you've been in, in a magic box for 5,000 years or whatever. Yeah. How about we just have a chat about this? But they show up and they're like, we're going to kill you. <laughs> we're going to kill you or put you in prison. And he's like, well, I guess we've got to fight now. Like that's the dumbest thing you could possibly do. But I mean that's – I guess they had to force their – what they should have done, I think. I don't think this is a spoiler. What they should have done 
because it, it didn't happen. I mean, because they needed it's, them to fight. Just, I understand they needed them to fight, yeah, like, yeah. but you're saying there's a better way. Well, to Well, what they to should that. have done is they should have been like, "Hey, let's have it. Let's have a chat," and then somebody, maybe a blockbuster style character or some, or you know, inter gang or whatever. They set a bomb off, and both sides think the other guy sure. blew up a building, and then they fight. That would that make would sense. Fight. What I liked about this, and we've we've spoken about this before many a time, but famously in the Fast and Furious universe, The Rock, as Hobbs or possibly Shaw, whichever yeah. one he is. Has has apparently I think it switches movie to movie. It might do. <laughs> he has a clause in his contract apparently that he can't lose a fight. He can only tie or win. Yeah. Right. And the, it is, it has been suggested that maybe he requires that in all his contracts now. And they all do in the Fast and Furious. Yeah, yeah. Least, yeah. So maybe in every movie going forward, he can't lose. He can only tie or win. If that is the case in this movie, I think they did a pretty good job of covering up the seams of that. Yeah, I'd agree like, with that. Yeah. In terms of – because, again, it's in the trailer, so it's not really a spoiler there. There is, you know, the classic superhero conflict where they have all have to fight. Mm. Uh, I felt like as, – as a viewer, knowing all I know about The Rock and all these various characters, even though I knew what the outcome was obviously going to be, they're going to fight for a bit and then they're going to be mates, the classic formula. I felt like given a few more rounds, it might be possible for Hawkman to beat him in a fight. You know yeah, what see, I mean? I didn't I, – what I enjoyed about that fight was that – Hawkman was never going to be. Did I say it. Hawkeye? Well, it doesn't have. matter. Yeah, yeah. Hawkeye, Hawkeye could have been. <laughs> sure. He could have used a. You have the right arrow. He's got his own. Uh, the rock in this has his own sort of kryptonite. Yeah. The, the sort element of. Eternium, which is. <laughs> but which he can, can also he, zap it away. Yeah, you can only get it in Kandak and, and, and uh, Intergang have made it into like anti gravity and they've made it into. And it happens and to be like, a thing that he, yeah, 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 whatever, yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. you were saying, sorry about Hawkman slash Hawkeye. Yeah, like I, I liked that he kept going in to fight the rock. Uh huh. And he was never going to win that fight because he's just completely outclassed. But he's dumb enough and, like, too proud <laughs> to admit that this guy will just kill. Like, he'll, if you keep going, he'll kill See, you. See, I don't know. I kind of felt – I was like – he did quite he's, well, like, I, I know, but he's got his gear. Yeah. But, like, he's, that will get you so far. Like, he, I loved his spinning mace. This mm. is my question about him. Is he the alien one? Oh, I don't know. Where no do idea. his wings come from? Yeah. Is that, like, a backpack? Like, what are we, what are we doing here? <laughs> it is. And this isn't a complaint. It's Again, a SpongeBob I'm, backpack. Yeah, I'm curious, like, what, what, is, what is his yeah, deal? I, is what, he the reincarnation one? That's a great question. Yeah. I, I mean, mean, presuming what, what the actual character's name is would probably give me all of that information. It is. It's, uh, Kent Nelson is um, Hawkman. Uh, mm. Kent Nelson is Dr. Fate. This is the, this is the classic Hawkman guy. So okay. it's um, Carter Hall. Right, okay. I don't, know, don't know which one. But also his his version has been an alien and also been a reincarnation. Gotcha. So, so he has got – what I liked about it is, again, they didn't go with he's just a regular man in a flight harness. They went with he is – This is alien tech or he's not quite. He's not, or, quite or, he's not quite Black Adam strong, but he is strong enough to – Take a punch, a bunch of yeah. punches from Black Adam, and he's throwing cars and is stuff. Is it is it alien Thanagarian DNA? Is it magic? Is it the suit? Is it whatever? I don't think it matters really. I agree, I was, but I, I was just curious. Yeah, yeah. And but then then again, that speaks to what you were talking about. I I did like that these guys exist. That these guys have been running around, or at least three of them have been. And yes. then the, and the new guy, who else has been in this team? Great question. Like what what is probably probably Wildcat, <laughs> professional <probably>. boxer who <laughs> has no other powers, who wouldn't have lasted that long in this fight, fight ultimately. And it, I felt like The Rock was also, he was pretty much doing, you know, like your Drax or your Terminator 2. Like he's got a he's got a little kid and the kid's teaching him slang and, and lessons. Yes, right, and he's right. like, oh, I'm literal and I don't understand anything. But then he slowly... <laughs> understand sarcasm and uh-huh, yeah, and he's yeah. got his little catchphrase yeah. that he wants to I do. I think if this does well and it's doing fine. It's doing okay. Uh, doing okay. Yeah, but, terrible, they, yeah. but they have no other options ultimately, DC at this point. Yeah. I suspect potentially maybe the Justice Society will supplant the Justice League. I don't know. I think it depends what they're doing with, and we'll get into spoilers, mm. and everything else that's also happening. Yeah. And we've got Batman, Ben Affleck's returning, Maybe, and there's yeah. Aquaman movies. And yeah, yeah. But he can Wonder be in Woman the Justice Society. And... He's been in the Justice Society You're right. Before. Yeah, you're absolutely so, right. Yeah. I mean, and also... Maybe they're going to do Justice Society versus Justice League. Whoa. 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 <laughs> you seem thrilled for that. Yeah, I'm in um, Can you tell? I mean, this could be... I reckon there's somebody in Warner Brothers and in DC going, okay, remember how the Avengers was a bunch of second stringers back, way back in the day, a trillion years ago, yeah. and they made it work. What if we look at the Justice Society roster yep. and we go, what if we get old Green Lantern what and old we, Flash sure. and others? Here's a question for you. What if, we get Mr. what if we get Mr. Terrific? What if we did get Mr. Terrific? Right? Sure. that's that, I like all those what ideas. Font, what font is the fair play on his leather jacket going to be I in? I think, you know, 10 Wingdings? years. Wingdings? Impact? <laughs> 
10... Comic Sans. Comic Sans <laughs> as a reference to comic books. That's great. Thank but you. Ten years ago, I think the idea of seeing all these characters together on screen would have been wild. Oh, yeah. What a, what a bunch of odd bods to bring together. Yes. But now it's like we've seen so much weird stuff since then that it's just it's not enough for me to be like, that Dr. Fate costume looks incredible. Mm-hmm. And it does. Yeah, it does, it, yeah. And that helmet, love the design, love all of that. But I... I I'd like to issue a challenge to the Rock Mason, if you don't mind. Uh oh. How about ups? <laughs> no. Oh. And look, I, again, I think he's good in pretty much everything he's in. Every, even yeah, the things yeah. that I, I really don't like the movies. Uh-huh. I like him in it. But when is he going to make an actual great movie? When is he going to make a movie that's not just fine? Great question. I, I a think, rundown sequel is what you're saying. Well, they, I think his best is probably the rundown. The Jumanji movies are pretty good. The, hmm. the Fast and Furious ones he's in, are, you know, I know there are some good moments and yeah, good yeah, ones yeah. in there. But where, if he's, if we're comparing him to like Arnold or Stallone or any of the exact mm-hmm. heroes, even Bruce Willis or whatever, yeah, where's his Terminator? Where's his Great Rocky? Question. Where's his John McClane? Like this is just this. Yeah. And like the last one was – Fucking Jungle Cruise, which again was fine, (laughs) you know? And he's like, again, he's good in it, but it's just, I don't know whether this. You know, there's a small chance that he will reply to this because sometimes he does. Sure. But look, again, don't beat me up and we'll we'll do push ups together. But I want, I know. If you can do more push ups than The Rock, (laughs) he will search out his his Terminator. How about he does push ups with me on his back and then vice versa? That's perfect. (laughs) You know what? The the problem I think, though, is that. I think it's his team. I think it's this sanitized image that's going on. I think it's the team, but it's also. He can do it, though, is what I'm saying. He's got the ability to do it. I'm saying also that it is the team, but it's also there's an absolute, like, dearth of directors who are allowed to do a new thing. Yeah. Like every like all the you know most of the people they get to do Marvel stuff and DC stuff or whatever just comes in and does what they're told. Like James Cameron didn't come in and do what he was told for, that, for that's, Terminator. You're exactly so you right. Need, yep. You need you need the Rock, unlimited charisma and unlimited biceps. Yep. And you need someone to have enough creative freedom to say I want to do this and I think it would work well for the Rock and his team to agree on it. Yeah. And a studio to go okay, I guess. Imagine if like the Rock did his true lies. Yeah. You know, like Arnold on his own, mm-hmm. like cause the, the Rock is a whole is a whole industry unto himself. Like he's making. Creative... Whenever we say the Rock, also folks, we do a big, <laughs> we, do a... we do a big glow, like a big, yeah. like the big, we we try to imagine with our arms the biggest thing you can possibly imagine. But like he's he's, he's like he's he's an ecosphere of like yeah, do you know what I mean? And he's making these properties and he's making these big decisions. Yeah. But I think you just you need someone to come in a James Cameron or Scorsese, I don't know somebody, and just yeah. be like, I have this. Like fantastic idea, and this role will suit you. And you do the thing that you do, yeah, yeah. But put it in a narrative that's mm. that's not just fine. See, I, and the thing is, as well, I think that now that you do mention that, that he's been in stuff that is akin to that sort of thing, but none of it. But it, again, it's it's all studio interference and what have you. Like he did that movie Central Intelligence, yeah, which I'm pro- Red Notice. Probably this has is the shit yeah, that we're, we're they doing. Pr- probably has elements t- akin to True Lies, and they probably go, they probably look on the whiteboard and go, okay, this is going to be True Lies, yeah, but we can't do that and that and that. So yeah, we we this is what's left. What are the maybe? Mo- what if he did a Safety Brothers movie? or sure. something? yeah. But like, what are the movies that people are going back for for him? You know, mm. what are the ones that people remember other than him? As oh, let's a, look it up real quick. As a it? person. Yeah. And maybe Pain and Gain, maybe? Okay, sure. Mm, great. These are, James, these are all great, great questions. We're asking the big questions. Yeah. And I think it's a credit to the movie Black Adam <laughs> that it's brought us to the point that we're asking these questions, which I think means to me that it is, in fact, a good movie. And again, I thought it was okay. Yeah, right, it's, right. It's, you know, it's, it's, yeah. it is. It is. Should isn't it? we should we go into spoilers? I think now? we should. Yeah, I'm going to say best movie ever. I had a good time. Uh, I was not. Uh, again, we're, we're going to talk about plot holes in this. I to me, I don't even. That doesn't even. None of that shit bothers me. To me, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To me, this felt akin to Spider Man No Way Home. I don't know if that is blasphemous to say or whatever, <laughs> but I'm like, there were a bunch of. Holes Do people hate movie. that at the moment? I don't know. I don't know. There's, there was a backlash and then there was a backlash to the backlash and then there was that phase where everybody was just posting single frames of the movie and going, this sucks, whatever. And I think that's already started to happen with Black Adam. Have you seen the famous sort of nose diving the rock <laughs> yeah. single frame? Where he looks like he's got a GoPro on a yeah, stick yeah, yeah. to his head. That's yeah. right. I love that. Yeah, but at like, least it looked different, yeah, you know? To me, these felt similar in that I liked the charismatic leads. I liked all the supporting cast. I think there was some, there was some good fun action in it for me anyway yeah uh it didn't break any 
It, it, like it, there were no twists that blew my mind or no. anything like that, but I thought, okay, everybody's good in this. I had a good time. He was marketing the movie based on the uh, the and one now it's huge over. reveal. You've got to say it's best movie ever at least now because it's over. Yeah, I guess it's been it is. literally a, more than yeah. a decade. Look, I didn't, I didn't hate it. Like, yeah. uh, so I guess it's best. But this is the this is so middle of the road. <laughs> right, if right. we had that ranking, yeah, yeah. it would have been right in the middle. That's right. Yeah. Uh, all right. Spoilers. Spoilers. Then. All right. Uh, Amanda Waller's in this. Yeah. Uh, Jennifer Holland turns up in a Trinity cosplay. She's That's from right. a better series. She's skipping yeah, yeah, yeah. over. So is She's Amanda like, Waller. I'm in this. I'm in this Arctic. I'm in this Arctic facility, and it's all very cold. I better wear this vinyl trench coat. Very confusing uh, outfit. Yeah, <laughs> extremely. Just didn't feel like it matched her character in Peacemaker at all. And I'm like, what's she even doing there? I what? don't know. Is this? I thought she's living in hotels is, and is it tracking they, down weirdos. Is it because they screwed up the mission in Peacemaker? I kind don't of, know. And, then, and she's been. Or, or is it? Or is it a promotion? Maybe it's a promotion. I can't yeah. tell. Mm. Anyway, I love Peacemaker, and I thought that was yeah. you know Amanda Waller and whatever. I loved seeing Henry Winkler. As a oh, I forgot about that. As, <laughs> as, a, as, as Black Adam's uncle. No, as Adam Smasher's Adam, uncle. Sorry, Adam Smasher's uncle. Original but he's Adam a, Smasher. But this, this new guy's inherited his powers from Seems his uncle? that way. All right, fine. Henry Winkler was filling out that suit, was he? Come on, let's be realistic. <laughs> that dude is enormous. He's a fridge. Not oh, Henry Winkler. The, the new guy, yeah, I guess yeah. they got it tailored. Yeah, maybe they did, yeah. He's doing, they put some extra gussets in it. They us. must have, yeah. Mm. Um, I thought the villain of just being a demon man was fine. I like the design. I think when you see it's sort of... No, I just it, not even that. Just like it, it was so late in the day. Yeah, but I did like how the rock tore him in half. I'm that was like, fun. That was good. Well, I mean, it, it, we, we did. I did some non-spoiler criticism of this earlier, but spoiler criticism. Obviously, how is this guy related to? Hang on, let me let me just bring up the cast list. Okay, so we've got Sarah Shahi as Adriana Tomas. She's the professor who who believes in the power of of Black Adam, etc. Sure, and she was good. then. And at least they didn't kiss. Yeah, that's true. I feel like in a worse oh, movie, yeah, they would have sure. yeah, 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 kissed. Yeah, yeah. So the guy who plays her her um, compatriot, her um, assistant, like the, the – The guy who turns out to be the bad guy? The guy who turns out to be the yeah. bad guy. Yeah, he I, – I don't know. The, that's why we needed another – Who was another he villain. even? I know they kind of explained I thought it, initially like, they're related, but they're not related. But, like, he wasn't but in charge – not char- everybody from Kandak is related. No, but he wasn't in charge of – the team he was using the team to get to the crown. Let, and we, and what, who, whose backpack was that crown in? Man, that crown was doing some moving and shaking. Let's get to plot. Let's get to plot holes, James. You've you've, you've hit the nail on the head here. So the thing about this is that uh, Sarah Shahi's character she believed both that there was a champion in the past five thousand years ago, and also that there was an artifact, this crown of Sabac, yep. that, that had incredible powers and would only be used for evil. And it's how Han Solo won the Millennium Falcon. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Go on. And what she wanted to do was find it so she could hide it somewhere else. Yeah, because they so, were getting close. So uh, so, uh, so, uh, an artifact that nobody's found for 5,000 years. The tomb was open. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. the roof was open. Yeah. So she wanted to do I, – I assume she wanted to do a, a bit of um, Justice League, like dig it up and then stick it in a hole that's six feet deep and put some dirt on it. Yeah. But this it was it felt very reminiscent of – one of the Indiana Jones movies where if Indiana Jones didn't intervene, nothing bad would happen. <laughs> like if she didn't yeah. intervene, they probably never would have found it because they didn't know where to look. Yeah, you might be right, yeah. But I think what happened there is, I think it, I, I, if I had to guess, I would say the original script was she had all the skills to find the thing, but she didn't want to find the thing. Mm. And the other guy really wanted to find the thing, but he didn't know how to get the thing. So she, so he manipulated her into get, get finding the thing. The thing. Sure, okay. But if you did that, then she's like a person with no agency who's just wandering around like, oh, whatever. So they went, <laughs> let's make her more of a like a Lara Croft Tomb Raider yep, kind of character. She does a big jump. She does a big jump. But but then that leads her in the position where she wants to find a thing that shouldn't be found. Mm. But they're like, yeah, it's fine. It's close enough, whatever. <laughs> also, so the, the dude's... In order to become the devil, yeah. what you have to do is you have to find the crown and be in possession of the crown and then something like de- life leads to death and death leads to life. So you have to get the crown. Because it's upside down in And you mirror. have to die. Yeah. But you can't just shoot yourself. No, you need he would someone have done, to do You would have shot it. You would have shot You might himself. even specifically need a Black Adam to Well, see, that's the that thing right? because if you could just get anybody else to kill you, you could just get one of your mates to yeah. shoot you. So I guess you have to be killed in a magical way. Yeah, because right, I guess the crown... Like Black Adam, who was the first Shazam guy, yeah. he was built in direct retaliation to the crown. To the crown so I'm right. guessing that they're linked the in Netflix that way. Netflix series of the, the crown. crown. That's right, yeah. But so I guess you have to get someone magical to kill you, but he had no way of knowing that she would release Black Adam in the first place. Yeah. And he seemed incapable of doing that. Mm. So And he's and confused. Yeah. And 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 it was weird that 
he was all like they they go to this location with the um where the crown is, and then there's just a lot of running around and yep. screaming or whatever. And you'd think they'd be there'd, there'd be a moment where he'd be like, okay, everybody stop. Mm. Just to be clear, I'm the bad guy. And if you could release Black Adam, and then I'll do yeah, the thing with the, the crown or whatever. whatever. Yeah. But it was just and. I, I got to say, though, I enjoyed just watching Black Adam just, like, slaughter a bunch of people. That was I fun, thought yeah. there were some really creative moments. There's a slow-mo moment, which is pretty good, where you see him, like, it's kind of like a Quicksilver moment, but uh-huh. you know, but I think it's a little bit more creative than saying it's just, like, derivative of that. Mm. He's just fucking blasting people with lightning and yeah. whatever. I think I think that's all pretty pretty good stuff, you mm. know? But it, it doesn't, to me, though, show that he's particularly bad guy. He's just a guy who... No, I mean, if that, know, if look, honestly, if that's that's the biggest misstep, I think... Is the, is a the big guy kept falling over in the city. He's probably killing 40, 40 people <laughs> at a pop. At that. Yeah, yeah. Heroes don't kill people except by accident. <laughs> and I'm sorry. And we have insurance for that, so it's fine. We have good lawyers. We get him off criminal negligence every yeah, yeah. week. Um, yeah, I think if that if one of the – I wouldn't say the biggest misstep, but one of the missteps this movie makes is this tired old trope of heroes don't kill, which clearly was written – Pre, I feel the entire concept of that was written pre Avengers, probably. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Pre Iron Man, yeah. where it's like, do you see how many dudes Iron Man killed in that first movie? So, so many, many, so many dudes. Yeah, you know? he's still killing dudes. He's dead. He's killing dudes. He's still <laughs> right. out there. Yeah, yeah. It's so many unexploded shells all over the <laughs> Middle East. <laughs> yeah, and I guess there was also a moment where Pierce Brosnan he sacrificed himself. He puts up a big triangle net, and so he mm. can fight. Um, the bad guy and he, yeah, and he dies, true. but I'm not. I didn't really. I didn't feel anything then. I'm like, he's probably just fish him out of that helmet. He's probably in there. If you stick your arm, and I reckon you pull him out like a rabbit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or get another guy because a bunch of people have worn the Doctor exactly, Fate helmet, yeah. right? But oh. I did enjoy that the Hawkman. He he picked up that Doctor Fate helmet trick. Yeah. I would have enjoyed it more if they hadn't have done it like eight times leading up. Yeah, Maybe right, do right. it at the start and then uh-huh. he does it at the end. Yeah, yeah. And it's a callback and whatever. Mm, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, That's Pierce Brosnan's go-to thing is is be eight guys and hold you. Sure, yeah. There should have, I mean, it, it would have been nice if there was any foreshadowing of like, maybe there is, maybe I missed the line, of Dr. Fate being like, I keep trying to teach you this magic and you don't you don't learn the magic or I keep trying to get you to put this helmet over the top of the helmet you're already wearing. That's right. Oh, you know what? I was going to mention that. Why is um, he leaving his helmet on the table, by the way? Max- so people can walk up and touch it. And the wind woman is like, you. don't do that because yeah, yeah, yeah. it'll kill you or whatever. Put a post-it note on it. Yeah, says, what are you doing? You. Also, like, he's on the team. You tell him all that information yeah, and yeah. you hold on to your helmet. Mm. Fuck, at least the jet's invincible. Because <laughs> right. who knows what would have happened if he touched that helmet. That's right. Yeah, um, yeah put a post-it note on the helmet. Um, <laughs> don't. Just says don't. Just don't. <laughs> or maybe that's the test. Maybe that's your final test for being a Justice Society member. Yeah. It's like, don't touch a man's helmet. It's important. <laughs> um, I was going to say, maximum credit to Aldous Hodge and anybody else who has worn a Hawkman mask in live action because they look so stupid. I think it does a pretty good job. Yeah, yeah. He's, yeah, like, he's yeah. Pull, and he's also he's, he's very attractive, so that helps. No, but that's what I'm saying. Like, that, <laughs> you can't put that on anyone. It is one of the most ridiculous looking helmets, especially in close up. Especially when it doesn't have like covered eyes; it's just got eye holes, and your regular eyes are poking yeah, out. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Very yeah. embarrassing. Yeah, no white eyes going on there, or glowing mm-hmm. eyes. Yeah. I thought it was, uh, you know, how the guy goes to hell, and I didn't mind that visual motif of he's in hell and yeah. it's upside down or whatever. It uh-huh. also felt a bit spawn when the devil yes. was like, "Spawn, run my army for me. Mm-hmm. I'm busy. Yeah. You can do this." But I, but the idea of him going back and then he was going to sit in the chair so the the dead could rise or whatever, mm. so like twenty nine zombies could show up. <laughs> right. It just didn't feel like it was a world altering threat, you know. Mm. Like was that happening everywhere? It didn't seem to be happening on more than one street. We didn't even see zombies swarming the Sydney Opera House. Or <laughs> yes, exactly. Like that. Where, but you know that? what I mean? Like there's there was like in the in the town, mate. We're rooted. <laughs> there's bloody zombies everywhere. <laughs> but you know, in the town, like yeah. there's. There's a you know there's twelve zombies and then yeah, a street yeah. over there's just a bunch of people standing around being like we don't know what's happening mm, at yeah. all here it's been a busy well, maybe day maybe it would have spread I don't know yeah maybe yeah. Uh-huh. and then they're not exactly indestructible no they were very you could be a guy who was earlier shot yeah. just swinging a pipe mm-hmm. hitting these fucking zombies and whatever that's true yeah and I I really didn't like the ending of because they call him uh, Teth. Adam. Yes. Oh, Teeth Adam, I think they call him. They call him to- Toothy Adam, they <laughs> toothy call him, Adam. on account of his winning smile. Yeah, but at the end, he's like, you need a new name. And he does that does that thing where it like, you know, it's slowly, you know. It, it yeah, yeah, the fantastic, the fantastic ending. Yeah. Fantastic, it also happens, that, you know, when they don't say mm. Avengers Assemble and he's yeah, got yeah, the yeah. little smile and then it mm. cuts to, it says. Gary it's, Adam. Gary Adam. <laughs> teeth Adam. <laughs> yeah. Toothy ads. Mm. Yeah, you Sark know. has an Adam. Oh, that's good, mate. Pretty good, right? Well, yeah. It should be something reference that he's learned over the course of the. Yeah. You know? 
He did, um, his, he, did his, he did his catchphrase as well, didn't that's he? That's right, yeah he, yeah. he nailed it. Yeah, he got his comedic timing. Action figure opportunity, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff. Uh, should we talk about the post-credits before? We should talk about thing? that. The, the one other thought that I just had there was the um, – it did. I, I thought there would be like no uh, association with Shazam, the movie, at all, really. I mean, we got John yeah, on Hunts who yeah, is, is back, yeah, obviously. Back. But I, the thing that struck me as most Shazam-y was that – the superheroes in this universe are like incredibly marketable and they've been very heavily merchandised. Yeah. Like the, the, the kid, and the the kid has all these cyborg comics and yeah. all that sort of stuff. Yeah. And, and you know, there was a bunch of action figures in, in Shazam. I thought, just, I thought, I thought it was, that was just an interesting weird, There was never a moment where they're like, hey, can you stop knocking all the walls out of my house, please? Right. He took out every fucking wall in that sure house. Did, I don't yeah. know how the hell it's still standing. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know what to do with it. Eternium. Sorry? On oh, the house is made of anth metal also. It's oh, is indestructible. It? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's great. Yeah. It's, it's really, it's really good. Anyway. Right, the real estate agent the next day. Are you kidding me? Yeah. You said this was made of anth metal. You said it was indestructible. <laughs> anyway, so we know that now at this point there's four members left of the Justice Society, but mm. maybe Black Adam's not a member. So there's three members left of the Justice Society. That's and, right. And they don't have a jet. Mm. But uh, but maybe that maybe there's a new superhero in town, mate, or an old superhero. Oh yeah, go on. Back in the in the post credits. Oh yeah. Uh, now Hiram Garcia, who was one of the producers on this, he was frustrated by the leaks, uh, the idea that Henry Cavill, like it was revealed that he was going to be back. But The Rock has just been telling people this yes. for weeks that well, he's in this. Movie. I think we mentioned maybe it was last week. You said something like, "Oh, there's a there's a spoiler floating around on the internet," and I said I hadn't heard about that. Yeah. But I had. I just was like. <laughs> Oh, it's part the, of the movie. It was from The Rock. I'm like, oh, okay, right. I didn't, I didn't. It didn't occur to me that that was. I was like, oh, some some dastardly person seen an early screening and they've spoiled it. Yeah, The Rock did apparently. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think also for him it makes sense that he wants to be on the side of fans and he wants to bring yes. back that element of the Snyderverse that trended again. We'll talk about that before mm-hmm. the show, um, as it always does. He's gone. He's not. He's not going to be back. Not for a while, at the very least. He's doing Star Wars, Netflix, or mm. whatever. But um, uh, Zack Snyder, that is. But. But, yeah, I think he was just, you know, that was his way of kind of getting fans on board. And I think there mm. are people that wouldn't have seen this if if he wasn't in it. I saw this movie with, it was ostensibly a media event, yeah. but it was all like an influencer crowd. It was like a bu- bunch of very. How many seasons of Big Brother did you recognize? Like 16 seasons of Big Brother. Whoa. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was Gretel Colleen there? Yeah, Gretel Colleen was there. Whoa. Um, and uh, Merlin was there. Merlin was Merlin there? Merlin was there, yeah. From season four or five, potentially. Probably, sure. <laughs> um, Sarah Marie. Sarah Marie was Sarah there from Marie season was the, one Big yeah, yeah, Brother. Yeah, doing the bum dance. <laughs> she was there. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was Blair there? Yeah, Blair was there. <laughs> was he? He'd just come off Neighbours. <laughs> Neighbours was cancelled. I Mason. know, but he's just been at home, <laughs> depressed. But he's come back for okay, this. Okay, great. Yeah. Every every person from every season of Australian Big Brother was there doing the thing that they got cancelled for. <laughs> just all of them there. Not the turkey slap incident. Yes. Oh, no, Mason. Yes. Horrifying. Terrible news. But all I'm saying is, look, I don't want to I don't want to judge, but it didn't feel like the the crowd was a bunch of very attractive people <laughs> who I don't think are like ordinarily there opening night of a comic book superhero movie. Sure. And there was a cheer when when Superman reappeared in Okay, the, well that, the, that says the, something. Yeah. So that's the a, a general audience is likes Henry Cavill, they like seeing Superman. Yep. Completely you know? agree. So that, that if anything's gonna work, that's gonna work. What does it mean for him coming back, I guess? And we can talk about that. But even if there's things in the works, who knows if that's actually right. going to happen? It mm. seems as if, and The Rock has been talking about this, that he was the, he is the one behind this. And yes. he was pushing it for years and the old guard at Warner Brothers kept saying no and then they all got pushed out or fired mm. or left or they died. I don't know. Mm. Yeah. And now this new team are like, I, we think you're in charge of The Rock. So I, I, well, yeah, the, right. yeah. are you the boss? Are you yeah. Kevin Feige and... It says here all of you are part of some sort of tontine and the last person alive gets to decide what happens here. So I guess you're the boss of WB now, The Rock. So So this actually, this was a recent addition in pickups and by recent I mean it was shot in mid-September after negotiations. Apparently it's the only thing that he's currently locked in for. Like it was a one-off appearance. Right. But there's been rumours that he's... How much do you think he got for it? Probably a mil. Yeah, right. I reckon. No, mate, well, for that... Well, apparently, we'll talk or about did it. he do it for nothing? Well, well my, yeah. He feels like a, he feels oh, like he wouldn't a guy. Do it for nothing. Yeah, but I feel like. His, his agents wouldn't let him do it for yeah, nothing. Yeah, maybe. I feel, he feels like the kind of guy who would probably just be like, I guess I've got an afternoon. Yeah, I mean, I'm in this suit. Yeah, yeah, I'm <laughs> in this suit playing Warhammer, <laughs> but I guess I'll. I'll do it. So what happens, uh, this is via Behind the Screen podcast where cinematographer Lawrence Sher went on and said, originally they, they shot it uh, the same way they did with Shazam, Headless Superman, mm. right? And it tested really well. Right. So they went. 
maybe we'll get the actual Superman in sure, to yeah. do it. So that's then they went to Henry Cavill. And again, uh, it was a one-off deal, but they, the studio was interested in making, and there were rumors this week of that Man of Steel 2 was a go and it's locked in, mm. but apparently it's not. No. Because the next movie also might be Superman versus Black Adam, it seems. Ah, uh, maybe. <laughs> they had a big long list. They're like, okay, Cavill's at the top. Yep. We can't get him. Tom Welling. <laughs> yeah. Dean Cain. Yeah, okay, yep. Wait, no, no. But it would be Brandon Routh. Top, yeah, oh, of course. It would be Brandon Routh, Tom, uh, Tom Welling. Yep. The kid George from- or Christopher Reeve. Yep. The guy from uh, the guy who was Superboy in the series, yeah, yeah, one yeah, of yeah. the two people who was Superboy. Yeah, uh, the the D- the Justice League Unlimited Superman voice actor. We'll see if he looks anything yep. like Superman. Uh, the any of the babies from the from the movies, baby Superman. <laughs> see yes, what have they grown up to look like? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then Dean Cain. Dean- <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. Mm. Uh, so yeah, where did, what 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 did you think? I mean, it's good to see him. He's great. Yeah, I I, I, I want exclusively more Superman stuff. We next, discussed but, this earlier, though. Yeah. Uh, off podcast, I don't know if it, I don't know if a Superman versus Black Adam movie is, is yeah. going to be like what I would like is the thing that we've never really got in a DC movie, a thing that we should have gotten in Batman v Superman, which is they meet briefly at the start, they have a little bit of a fight so we can get that out of our systems, yeah. and then they team up to beat up a bad guy. Well, that's what I would imagine the movie would be. What if it's not though? What if it's what if they've gone for some reason? We think Batman v Superman is the model, and it's just going to be a long, drawn out slog until we get to them fighting and it's not that interesting because ultimately it wouldn't be that interesting i, I don't see it being that interesting I, i'd imagine there's a moment where black adam is shooting lightning and superman shooting lasers mm. and there's that the bubble is building in the middle and explodes and they both fly backwards into yeah trucks. and there'll be a moment they'll they'll uh, almost certainly based on what the rock has said about this there'll absolutely be a moment initially where superman's like well you can't hurt me because i'm the strongest man who ever lived in the universe and then <laughs> Uh, Black Adam punches him and he goes, well, I've got magic. Yeah. And you are vulnerable to magic like, as we know. He's in rubble and yeah. you can see the blue electricity kind of sparking mm, over yeah, him. Yeah, and yeah, he's yeah. like, what, the Swiss? I've never been punched like that before in my life. Except by Batman. And I've been... And Doomsday and I've been hit me. by I've been hit by a frying pan by my mum when I was a kid <laughs> because... Uh, I, I was rude. I was a rude kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean... I kind of don't. I'm not really interested in Superman versus anybody at the moment. Sure. I, I'm interested in seeing. I mean, as in another yeah. hero. I'm interested in. Can you make a very good Superman movie, please? Can we make a very good, or honestly, a very good Black Adam movie? Sure. I, if if the if what is happening here is if that if that was like a symbolic passing of the torch or something, where, where maybe in the next movie Superman's like, I've got to go do Superman stuff, but I hope you have adventures in the yeah. future or whatever. That's fine with me as long as. What I would like to see is fewer heroes fighting heroes, even though that is a fun trope in comic books. Yeah. But the thing about comic books is there's a hundred every month. Yeah. And if you want to do that, and then the next issue they do something else. But in this, it's like, okay, we get one of these a year apparently now. <laughs> we get a this and a don't worry, darling. Yeah, sure. I don't want to see just them fighting. Give me compelling villains. That's interesting to yeah. me. You know? And I think putting two characters together, I think the dynamic of it is more interesting than the punching. Yeah. I think what they should have done, and they didn't because they wanted to make a Black Adam movie, was to make a Shazam Black Adam movie, and that should have been the first movie mm. because that t- they're both they're linked. They've yeah. always been linked. Those two mm. characters, they're, they're two sides of the same coin. They've got that lightning bolt. They've got the lightning bolt. Mm. They've got the same powers. They're from the same wizard. Yeah. But they wanted to do the solo thing. But I think now it would be a better idea, but probably not financially. Can we do, do that? And I think the idea of Billy Batson being a child with the powers of a god versus a psychopath <laughs> with the powers of a god or psychopath <laughs> would be more Who's interesting. killed so many men. <laughs> yeah, it would be more interesting. Yeah, right, right, right. But, um, but I don't think they want to do that. I think they want to keep Shazam in its own kind of thing and hit yeah. to Black Adam. Uh-huh. Because it seems like that's what the next movie is going to be also, yeah. which I am looking forward to because it's got Lucy Liu and I like the director and all of yeah, that yeah. and I enjoyed the first Shazam a lot. But I don't know why they – what I we... think they're totally too different to fight. I think it may be – But I think that's that why it's that's yeah, good right. though. Also, there's little kids running around in this being like, what's your catchphrase? And it's like, oh, okay, true, then yeah. you can do it. It's that fine. That's true, yeah. You know? Mm. It's not like this is like – this is the darkest fucking thing we've ever seen, <laughs> it's is true, it? true, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of people telling you that they've done bad deeds, but then, you know, the bad deed that – the rock did in this is he went into a temple and blew up a fucking the king or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And then he got put in a box. James, do you have no respect for the monarchy? Honestly. <laughs> We've been through this, Mason. I have nothing but respect. That's right. For our king. King uh brother's a pedophile. <laughs> no. <laughs> is that not his name? Uh no, that is his name. That okay. is his, yeah, 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 yeah. 
That's more of a title, I think. Oh, is it? Great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't know, man. You know? Yeah. They're making movies. I'm you know? excited for a new <laughs> I'm excited for this new first chapter in the DCEU. Is that what you think this is though? I mean it is, but do you think this is going to be the cornerstone of everything else that comes from comes here on out? I think they're like, gonna this try. Is, this yeah, I, that I agree with, but yeah. is this a solid enough foundation? Like this isn't your first Iron Man. This isn't like your Man of Steel. Uh-huh. You know, this isn't even the first G.I. Joe movie. This is a that's, actually, that's this is a done. fairly <laughs> solid Avengers Age of Ultron, I think. <laughs> yeah, okay, yep. In that uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I think maybe it's the best we can do at this point. I think DC needs yeah. to – I think they were onto something with – We've been saying this for years. They don't know. No, I know they, they don't. don't. Listen to us. But I think what they – I think the idea of doing, you know, your Jokers and your uh-huh. the Batman yep. and you, I guess you could have a few mainline films going on, but this uh-huh. idea of like everything's pretty much – you're just telling stories that don't necessarily have to be connected. Mm-hmm. Like the Batman's not connected to anything else and – Yeah, true. I think that – that was working for a time, you know, mm. and I, I think this idea of being like, we're just going to marvelify everything again. You, you tried that, remember? And then you fucking, and then you, you got, you panicked and you took it away. You, yeah. you made terrible Justice League and everything fell apart and everybody turned on you. In retrospect, you shouldn't have called it terrible Justice League. <laughs> yeah. But then we get to this point where we've got this like bastardized version. We're terrible. That's their catchphrase. <laughs> At the end, they're all standing on a rooftop and the lightning's coming down. They're all giving the thumbs up and saying, we're remember terrible. guys, we're terrible. But now we've got this kind of bastardized version of things that have come before mixed mm. with like some Marvel stuff yeah. and whatever. And they're using one of the biggest, you know, movie stars in the world to be the cornerstone of, the, of everything. And I'm just not sure that any of this is going to pay off in any meaningful Spoiler or financial alert, capacity. It's not going to. <laughs> but I want to see him try. I'm, Absolutely. I'm kind of excited to see him try now. I mean, we're still getting second Joker. They're probably going to do another Batman. If you could bang out another Superman movie, that would be absolutely terrific. Mm. You know, there's things there's things happening that, that are still good, but this is like, you know, again, it's it's fine. I All guess. right then, yeah. 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 Anyway. Would you say you had fun with it? No, not even. Wow. <laughs> and you had fun with Justice League 2017. Yeah, but I, I was very tired then. I had, Are you <laughs> not tired play. now? No, I'm more tired, but I, I watched this when I wasn't tired. Okay, terrific. And it certainly didn't, um, yeah, I didn't feel better about it days on, days after. Yeah, you know? right, right. Yeah. There you go. Got some reviews here though, Mason. All right. Uh, these people are tweeting in, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod. This is from Broderick Henry who said, I love when comic book shows slash movies just lean in. Uh, and to allow the comicness of everything, and Black Adam did that for me. I had hopes of it being just okay, but it was better than I thought. Maybe the power balance has shifted. Ooh. Best movie ever. C Ray says, uh, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod, just finished Black Adam. The Rock's Drax impersonation was spot on. Adam Smasher as Ant-Man was great. The Last Airbender, Double O, Strange Fate, and Captain Falcon were all fun. Some wonky boss battle CGI and silly writing, but decent overall. Best movie ever. Nate Scarris says, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod. Black Adam shows the DC learned nothing from why people disliked Suicide Squad 2016. <laughs> Tonally all over the place. Full of uh, obvious editing room attempts to inject humor and visual flair into a dull, boring movie. And Johan says, the hierarchy of critical reception in the DC universe is about to be unchanged. Uh-oh. Also, I know I said that I had fun with Justice League. It's not a good movie. Just to clarify. Sure, this sure, is, sure. This is... Better than Justice League. It is better than Justice League. Yeah, um, yeah I, I, we did mention it, but yeah, the the soundtrack was was not. Oh my god! Also, uh, really bad. Really, really. Oh, that was that was awful, <laughs> and all uh, and also incredibly bad timing having Kanye West on the soundtrack. Oh yeah, that, that he is having an awful meltdown currently. Yeah. I also didn't initially. I felt like when the when the movie started with the narrative from the kid. I'm like, oh, this is not a great start. Yeah, but then it sort of. I didn't mind that opening. It makes more it sense. Right, yeah. It makes more sense when you you it's revealed at the end, or sort of in the midpoint where where the son thing you, the thing you already know. Yeah, the, the, yeah, the thing in the trailer yeah, where yeah. he's holding his son and screaming and being yes. like, "I'm not a hero." Mm. Yeah, mm-hmm. great. Should we move on? Yes, with our lives. No, <laughs> you want to you want to stay in this moment, do you? <laughs> I want to <laughs> stew in this mire forever. <laughs> All right. Do you know what it's time for though? It's time for what we're reading. Yep. We gonna read. Perfect. You've nailed that, Mason. A plus. Nice, thanks. I'm doing the theme. What are we reading today? Mason. Hello. Uh yeah, so we're doing <laughs> James, be in the moment, do some stretches. Like the rock would. And then you'd be you would be way into this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I feel I feel, I feel mean being like make a good movie. Because <laughs> like he's obviously talented. and he has. He's made good movies, but right. I'm just talking like it's a like where is it? Where's the thing? You yeah, know? yeah. We uh, there was a 
People won't. He's know good this. enough. He could. People do People won't know this because of the magic of the edit, of editing. <laughs> but we switched off the recording for a second to, to do to, our stretches. Yeah, and then we came back. But in the interim, I'm like, yeah, but it's the it's. He could do a. I, we, we were saying he could do a, a Safety Brothers movie. He could do a, like a Robert Eggers movie, something I like that. I feel like there was a moment when he was doing kind of more interesting stuff. I think like like Be Cool isn't good, but the mm. idea of him being a fun little kind of henchman comedy bit in yeah, that. Yeah, you know, right, I right, think right. there. You know, he's doing movies where he's. I don't know, his son snitching or whatever. Right, I but I think the thing is that he, he was would... in the video game Spy Hunter where he also oh. co-captain voice. He'd have to be willing to, one, take a pay cut. Yep. Because a, a, mo- a movie that he could be in that might be incredible is not going to get greenlit by a big studio without a lot of changes. So in order to make a movie that is in the vision of the director, it would have to be low budget so to get greenlit, which means The Rock is going to have to p- take a pay cut to be in it. Yeah. But also, he would have to be willing to be in a movie that isn't going to be number one at the box office necessarily. You know necessarily, what I mean? Necessarily, yeah. Right. If if there isn't a chance that it could, like, he could he could be in The Northman, yeah, you know, which we meant he could he might have been even he could have fought that bear that DiCaprio. He, yeah, that's fought. right. But I mean, he doesn't. He would have beaten it. <laughs> he, but is he one of those guys that looks like he knows what an iPhone is? Yeah. <laughs> Because Skarsgård, whichever Skarsgård was in that movie, yeah. like he's got the look of, in, especially in that role, if you like, he doesn't, yeah. yeah, he belongs there. There's a difference between him and like what he's doing in Hercules. For, like he's looking different, I mean. You know? yeah, yeah, he's yeah. a guy who, uh-huh. how is he that big? Right. You know what I think it also might be? He, like the ro- the roles that made like Arnold famous uh, mm. as a Terminator, that was like James Cameron's first. Yep. So then you're tied to James Cameron. Right. And same with like the biggest, like I know Bruce Willis was a TV star, but Die Hard made him a movie star. Yes. Stallone, you know, and he got Rocky off the ground mostly, but like that made him a star. So mm. he did it early. They weren't the biggest actors in the world. No, and true. then they did, you know, yeah. and like they were already tied to a character or a director that, yeah, yeah, yeah. that, that could succeed on a bigger level. My friend, uh, Jack Drews is a stand up comedian. He Jack does all Drews. sorts of fun sketches on, on YouTube. Yeah, he's good. Uh, that should get, should get more views than they do. Mm. But he has a bit about, um, the other side of that, you know that um, Sylvester Stallone story where he needed money, so he sold his dog to yeah. her. And then when he became successful, he went and he bought the dog back. Yeah. Imagine being the other guy in that equation. Just a guy. And he comes home one day to his wife and he's like, I've got a new business. I'm going to buy and sell dogs. <laughs> I'm going to buy low and sell high, but it's dogs. <laughs> it's dog. I'm going to bank on actors making it. <laughs> and then, oh, that's great. But, yeah, he needs – it's, yeah, so the, to finish that thought, he needs to, to be in a movie that he is okay with not being the biggest action star in the world. And maybe let and some maybe, creative stuff go. Yeah, and maybe not be the biggest, like the yeah. physically the largest action star in the world also. like, But that, but that's the thing. He also has to want to do that. Yep. Maybe he is Maybe he is the happiest he is when he's making a big action movie and he sees people seeing it and going, great job, The Rock, I love it, I love whatever, and, and, he's, and he's happy doing that so there's yeah. no reason for him to do an artful movie or yeah. whatever. Tom you know? Cruise has got Mission Impossible and Top Gun and whatever. You know That's what I mean? That's true, yeah. All these guys yeah. have like a... A thing, yeah. Yeah. Mm. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Just don't know, man. Also, if you watch like behind the scenes stuff of and you hear like you see interviews with James Cameron and he's talking about Arnold, mm-hmm. he just doesn't take any shit from him. Like That's Arnold's true, like, yeah. I think it should be I will be back. And James Cameron's like... Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Just say the thing that I said. Yeah, like yeah. you're not going to say that to, to no, The Rock true, at this yeah. point, you yeah. know? <laughs> Yeah. Anyways, what have you been reading or what's you uh, going to read? I watched the first couple of episodes of a TV series called The Peripheral. Oh, on yeah. Amazon. Did you watch it like this? Oh, I see. <laughs> and a funny little angle. <laughs> it's a little play on word there. Play on, play on word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little play on word. <laughs> the, play word, on word. the word being peripheral. Correct. Okay. Correct, correct. Yes, I but, did watch it out of the corner of mine eye. <laughs> yep. Mine little eye. Sure. Uh, but it's it's based on the novel uh, by William Gibson, who I'm a big fan of. Right. But I'd not read this book. I bought a copy and I'm like, I bet I can, bet I can read this before the series comes out. And I couldn't. <laughs> but not, boy, not even a single page of it. You wanted to though, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. But it's basically uh, it's it's starring Chloe Moretz. Oh yeah, girl, oh that one. Okay, hit girl yeah. from uh, from uh... Assassin's Creed. Yes, <laughs> she's hit girl in uh, Kick Ass. In Kick Ass, thank yeah, you very thank much. You. And probably many other things in the interim, but I I don't know what those sure, are. Sure, yeah, yeah. But yeah. it's a sort of a um, it's set in a she sort of lives in a. It's the near future. She sort of lives in like a, you know, like a like a backward, backwards kind of town. Yeah. And uh, one of the ways she make makes ends meet is she like, she's she's like she does gaming for people. So like if uh, you know if somebody's playing something on like an online game, like a VR, she puts on the VR headset and she like defeats the the boss for them or okay, like she sure. runs that whatever. And then uh, but then she gets a delivery of like a new kind of headset. She's like the Jim's mowing of going in. And- yes, she's absolute. That's right. <laughs> 
exactly right. Oh my god, <laughs> the higher a hubby of <laughs> yeah, the, whatever the, the grey army, <laughs> the, all the other ones we hear. A oh, higher hubby's good. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so but she gets a delivery of like this new headset kind of thing, and she puts it on, and and it and it, it takes into a very realistic virtual world. Oh, is, it, is there more to it than it seems? No. Yeah, no, no. It's just, it's just the slight, metaverse. Yeah, slightly more powerful processor, and then she's in the metaverse. She's like, "Well, my legs gone. Yeah. Where am I? They, I was promised legs, <laughs> but now it goes in a parallel universe or whatever. You know what it's like. Yeah, cool. What's okay. So you say it's a series. It's a series. And so the first a... two or three episodes around now. Okay, because I did see that big thumbnail and went, "Okay, that looks like an interesting." Yeah, thumbnail. it does look interesting. The the um William Gibson, did you say? Yes, like the guitar. Yeah, yeah, he invented the guitar. Wow, great, yeah, really yeah, good really stuff. Good. What about yourself, James? What have you been Great into? question. Uh, well, obviously, I've been watching the movie Black Adam mm. as many times as I can. In my mind, just replaying yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, uh, to streaming this week, because it didn't go to theatres, I watched Clerks 3. Ah, now, why? I'm a big fan of the Clerks movies. Oh, I see. Uh, like both of them. And uh-huh. then, you know, But also, you have to... You have to have watched the first yeah, one in like the 90s. You can't come in you can't now. can't get to it now. No, no, absolutely <laughs> not. No. Yeah. Absolutely you you gotta be not. you gotta be wired your because order. this one, if I recall, doesn't one of them have a heart attack? And then they're yep. like, "Well, I, I can't. I've lived and I've got to make the most of my life, so I'm going to make a movie about clerks." Yes. So basically, it's the story of clerks where one of them is making clerks in the convenience store, but they're both like fifty and whatever, and one mm-hmm. of them had a heart attack, which is obviously what happened to Kevin Smith. And I thought the meta ness of it, of like, you know, okay, because he also did this with Zach and Miri. Like the the, yeah. po- the the story of that was they were making a home movie and whatever. So there was a mm-hmm. porno and whatever. But it's actually it's pretty like it's pretty good and it's pretty heartfelt and okay. I think it's a it's a pretty like and again it's it's clerk so it's all the dialogue and the references and whatever and they're all saying awful things to each <laughs> sure, other sure and, sure and yeah. that but, Star Wars uh, references yeah for you like any here. references to the sequels <laughs> sure uh, but it's um I liked it I really I did I okay, really liked wow. it yeah I think it's uh. I, you know, I'm not, and I'm not a big fan of everything that he's done. Like, I really don't like Jane Silent Bob Strike Back, but for some reason, I quite you like the, the last reboot, one, which yeah. you didn't like at all. Yeah, you know, I, I just think I like that he's just doing this thing that he does, and mm. and I, I always enjoy these characters like Great. popping around and and, cool. and seeing them. So yeah. Um. So next week we're going to be probably t- doing a little horror movie roundup. Yeah. So if people have any particular rec- recommendations, I think we should both watch the same thing. I agree. I reckon we have to watch we'll like do bodies, three bodies, bodies. Okay. What do you, what else? I would like to see Barbarian. We'll do Barbarian. And There's then another a, one. Then we should another do. one. A third thing. I did have one in mind. I can't there remember. There's a movie is. on Disney Plus. Yeah, there's a bunch of Which apparently is, is, it came out in 2020. It's called The Empty Man. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah, yeah. Is it good? Yeah. It's worth it. It's also kind of uh, existential and cerebral, and you get Ugh. to the end and you're like, what was that? So I don't, I don't know whether it I don't have time for that. I, I don't know. Dumb I, one. I liked it. I don't necessarily think it would be like. Yeah. There's a movie We're out now. I don't, I don't think we have it yet in Australia. It's called Terrifier, I think, and apparently it is bonkers. Okay, but if it's seen, if, oh, Terrifier two. I think yeah, it's Terrifier yeah. two. Just based on what I've some snippets of, I'm like too scary for me. Thank yeah. you. No, no, thank you. Uh, but if anybody has any recommendations, get them in quick. If you're listening to this when the episode comes out, yeah, uh, email in weeklyplanetpod at gmail dot com. Let us know if you have any horror movie recommendations, maybe that came out this year. Uh, not too, not uh, too scary. Significant Other, actually. I'll okay. oh, check that out. Um, actually, for Caravan of Garbage this week, we're doing Bram Stoker's Dracula. That's if right. you want a truly fucking bonkers experience, yeah. uh, that is certainly something mm. else. Uh, we could watch The Scorpion King again, obviously. Oh, yeah, we could watch The Scorpion King again. Seeing oh. what's out and what yeah, we could yeah, do. Anyway. Yeah. Um, Any wrecks, let us know. We'll watch, we'll watch a bunch of them all. We'll, uh, we'll be like, was this a good year for horror? Probably. We could watch Rick and Morty. We could watch Rick and Morty, it's true. Oh, also... Um, Here's a here's a quick little plug. Oh my goodness! Uh, if you are not signed up to the, if you're not subscribed to the stupid old studios YouTube channel, I am. I am also. Uh, you should uh, for a bunch of reasons. One, uh, Beck Betrayed has put up a video. I'm glad you brought this up. Oh, I wrote this down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> loved it. Beck Betrayed has put up a video where she got Naomi Higgins to cut her hair yeah. <laughs> live on 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 streaming, which is very funny. Yeah. Um, and I would say it. It's not like a. Yeah, you no, know, it wasn't yeah, a live stream, really. It's very funny. Uh, but also, a friend of the show, Matt Stewart from Do Go On, from Prime Mates, from Who Knew It with Matt Stewart. He's been on this show. He uh, is releasing, uh, this week he's releasing a an hour-long stand-up special <gasps> on that channel. Uh, so if you go to the Stupid Old Studios YouTube channel, uh, there's a little button you can click to notify yourself. It's coming out on the 26th. Wow, that's of, Wednesday. The 26th of uh, October, I think at 8 p.m. It is, Other times right. are available around the world. There's a bunch of other stuff there. There's artifacts on there. Yeah, yeah. There's new studios up and running. That's right. If you want us behind the scenes. I was there look. the other day. How oh, was it, Mason? Very cool. I heard you didn't like it. What? And you told everybody. Is that true? That's true. I did, actually. Yes. Right. That's really good stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Uh, cool, but people cool. should check that out. I think it's going to be real good. There's yeah, always so different stuff going that up is there true. As, on there as well. Yeah, but Matt's yeah. thing's going to be a premiere, so he's going to be in the chat room chatting with people. So if you want to, oh, is he? You know, if you want to suggest topics for Duke on a private, <laughs> yeah, that's a, actually just a really get in there. That be, you can't escape. You can't be like, yeah. I was away. I was getting a coffee or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't. No, you can't. It's not allowed legally. He can't. That's yeah. right. Really good stuff, Mason. Yeah. Should we move it along? Yes. What? But what to what? And the when? next segment is letters. I agree. And there's a theme to go with letters, and it's right here on YouTube. I hope it never gets. Deleted because I wouldn't have any other options. I agree. I guess I could cut a, I could play a previous episode of the podcast oh, yeah. through my you phone. You have to find it on the, you have to go to the time God, codes. I mean, Collins does the time codes and that's great. That's true, yeah. But uh, maybe the person could set the video to private. I could just <laughs> say, I'm playing it through my phone now, and then Collins would be like, ugh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Anyway, this one's definitely live though. Wow. The classic one was letters, oh, letters, we love you. Some letters, they're only. Take away. We're going to hear right now. We're going to do that. Thank you to Collins for editing that in. And we are going to talk about the letters that we get to the show. You might, you might even say, you might, for example, hashtag yes. Weekly Planet Pod on Twitter. Oh, that's so true. To tweet my way. Or if you want to bother Mason with Gmails, yep. go to weeklyplanetpod at gmail.com. That's Don't right. go there. Yeah, Send yeah. an email there and then he'll read it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't go to gmail.com. No. Because there's not a lot there, honestly. No, I, I feel like it's. Oh, I also forget to mention. I watched this documentary this week. Uh, Ahoy, the YouTube channel Ahoy has a new. Oh, what are they? What are they done this week? XCOM. Ooh, it's XCOM. a one hour and forty minute documentary about the uh, uh, strategy game, the uh, UFO themed strategy game. Now everyone's XCOM. doing an XCOM. Mario versus Rabbids is XCOM. You know. Oh, They're, well, it's not actually XCOM, but you know what I mean. Uh, so sure. Everyone loves that style. Yes, that that you know combat. Turn-based yes. arenas strategies, very true. Whatever, whatever those games are. Yeah, yeah. cool. All right, but you can email uh, like uh, a friend of the show, Shay Boskill has. Uh, oh yeah, no, Shea Great Boskill. Mates Minecraft server. We may have mentioned this before. Nah. But, uh, hey, James and myself have been running the Great Mates Minecraft server for about three and a half years now, and in that time, the community has built some incredible things together. I wanted to show off some of these builds, so I've made a short video tour of the server and posted it in the Great Mates Facebook group. I was hoping you could read out the server address on the pod to help us reach more mates. The server is available for Java edition, and the address is play.greatmates, G-R-E-A-T-M-A-T-E-A-E-S. I'm going to say the whole thing again. Sure, yeah, yeah. But leave all this in, yeah, because that's the beauty of this. You want me to leave it in? Yeah, leave it in. Easy done. Play.greatmates.xyz, so G-R-E-A-T-M-A-T-E-S dot X-Y-Z. Uh, this has been the most wholesome group of people I've ever played with, so I want to thank you and the admin team over at the Great Mates Group for fostering such a lovely community. Also, thanks to Mesa for giving the server his official endorsement on one of your live shows. There we go. No yeah. takesies, backsies. <laughs> uh, so here's the 30-second version of the server tour on YouTube. So My goodness, this. Mason. And James, you're going to witness this live. I'm going to pretend, Mason, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna that I this. like this. I'm going to turn the sound down, though. <laughs> oh, you don't need sound? I don't think so. Unless you love music. So this has pop- popped up in the uh, the Great Mates group every now and then. Yeah, and I always yeah, pretend yeah. like, wow, this is incredible. I've never seen this before, but it always blows my mind. Yeah, but so it's, it's new and this. improved. Yeah, I know. Every time go. I see it, it's you like, ready for this? yeah. You know, maybe I will put the sound on. You want the ambience? Yeah, I want the ambience. Oh, my God. Right? Ah, <laughs> oh, your phone's ruining everything, my Mason. My phone is ruining everything. The experience. Or maybe, or maybe your Wi-Fi is ruining everything. Maybe that's why. Nah, disagree. Turn the Wi-Fi off on your phone. We're flying through it. There's all oh, there's damn. there's Viking ships. There's pi- pirates. There's um, I think there's something in the Bible about um. What the? Fuck? There's like centu- Roman centurions. What's the link? Because it said there's a five minute tour. Watch the full five minute tour in the link above. I, I don't won't. have that. Oh, well. I'll go into the Gmail. Yeah. I'll open if you go to YouTube and you type in Shay Boskill, S H A Y B O W S K I L L, you'll you'll get you'll get it. I'll check it out and then I'll know. But yeah, there's something in the Bible I think about false idols, and there are enormous statues of us in there. Yeah. Just it's really we're real idols, so yeah. it's fine. Like like <laughs> it's fine. like those um those long forgotten kings in like a Lord of the Rings movie. You know when they go <laughs> yeah. to a, uh, those God kings, damn, those that kings, is enormous. Those kings are dead. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, James. they're all dead. They're all dead. Did you watch Lord of the Rings? <laughs> Did you watch the new Lord of the Rings? No, not yet. No, you could no. have though. I could have. It's true. Yeah, yeah. This is from Justin. Oh, sorry, just Jonathan, who Ooh. says, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod. Can we get a recap of Harley Quinn season three? I just finished the season. I can't believe no one's talking about it. That is true. Yeah. We kind of, I think it just came to one of the streaming services here. It did, yeah. It just came to binge in Australia, so I, will, so I haven't watched uh, it yet. I will get to it. But we'll yeah. probably do it in a wrap-up with a bunch of other things yeah. at this point, I guess. But it is weird, like a bunch of stuff has come and gone. Yeah. 
Uh, Harley Quinn, Rick and Morty. I think we've mentioned is back, but uh, it's, I think it's coming. It's on break at the moment. Yeah, but yeah. A, like a lot of people didn't know that was happening. Mm. Uh, just You're saying there's too much content. I'm saying there's a lot of content. Wow, Mason. That's right. I'm not afraid to say it. Yeah, but no, it's I've, I've, the new season of Harley Quinn's apparently still good, right? Apparently so. Mm-hmm. Sure. <laughs> what else you yeah. got, Mason? Here's an email. Is there? Yes. What's to do from Mots? Mots, Mots says. Uh, Dear Jones and Mason, long time listener, big fan. You may yeah. or may not know that Pakistani cinema hasn't exactly covered itself in glory over the years. However, it has put out a genuinely good product with international appeal of late. The movie is titled The Legend of Maula Jat. It's a remake of a pulpy cult classic from the 70s about Maula Jat, a prize fighter turned avenging angel, and his feud with the infamous Nat clan. Said in rural Punjab, is equal parts gladiator, Game of Thrones, and spaghetti well, western. Now, yeah. Would highly recommend a viewing on the big screen if you're looking for a familiar revenge fantasy story, albeit in a different setting than what you may be used to. It would be awesome. Also, here to hear you guys do a mini review. I'm going to check that out. I liked R R R, which is yeah, not, yeah. which is not uh, Pakistani, but it is. Uh, it's a, not. It's not. It's not, it's not an Amer- cinema. It's not an American movie, <laughs> and it's not. It's not an American movie if you can even believe it. And as a result, it had the freedom to just go some crazy places. I still haven't watched that either. Yeah. yeah. Um, I have to ask though: Does the Legend of Maula Jat have a have a big dance sequence in it? It says, uh, "Well, the Guardian called it Game of Thrones meets Gladiator," but then they said, "But bad." No, not really. So yeah. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, it says the movie unsurprisingly ends with a big fight between Maula and Nuri, mm-hmm. uh, which I'm. Oh, well, is, is that a spoiler? Probably. <laughs> But yeah, no. Nah, uh, I wanted to go into this action movie not knowing there was any action in it, but go off, I guess, James. I will go, go off. Go off, I guess. Yeah, no, I was. I was going off. Cool. All right, great. I'll do that, Mason. I'll bloody check it out. Yeah, nice. But I'll tell you this much. Go on. I'll tell you what's going on here, Mason. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do we got here? So I've got this from Metal Eugenio, who you might remember, who says, hashtag with your planet pod, is Superman reversing Earth's rotation the worst time traveling explanation in movie history? I was under the impression that he's not, rever- he's flying fast enough to go back in time. He's not literally reversing the Earth's yes. rotation. Yes, most people, as I understand it, yeah. most people think that he is reversing time by spinning the Earth backwards, mm. which wouldn't work and is crazy. No, because he's rever- is he spinning the whole universe backwards? Great, great Doesn't point. Any- or is uh, it just Earth? Only Moon Knight can do that. Yeah, that's uh, right. Yeah. He's waving the stars like a big yeah, iPad. Yeah, apparently in that movie Superman is flying so fast that he goes back in time, which makes way more sense. Yeah, yeah um, sure. But then does that mean there's two Supermen? Did he yeah. kill the previous Superman? Would have had to. Did he snap his neck on the way back? Yep. Wow. Unless that or, Superman, I oh know we've talked about this because that Superman wouldn't have a, wouldn't have wouldn't need to go back in time. Yeah. Because of whatever and whatever. We've done an episode on on time travel mechanics. Yeah, probably. We did an episode. We ranked. We didn't rank, but we we evaluated all the time travel methods. Do you remember that one? I think we got it right too. I think we pro- almost <laughs> certainly got it right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, from memory, I yeah. don't actually remember that episode. I vaguely remember, but I don't remember anything else about it. Yeah, yeah, that's good stuff, Mason. Ah, uh, but is there anything worse than that? Yeah, the definitely. thing about that is, it's not. It's it, like a lot of sci-fi mechanics or magic mechanics or whatever it is. It's not about what the the mechanic is. It's establishing a rule and sticking with the rule. Yes. So it is kind of bad in that it's never really explained what it is, and it's never really explained why he couldn't just do it all the time. What about your Austin Powers? He had a time travel vortex. What did that sure mean? Did. Is that good or bad? Great question. Don't mm. remember. Uh, so, yeah, I think it might be the worst one, honestly. <laughs> We're just taking one. I'm just doing worst time travel movies and mm. seeing what we get here. Timeline, what happened? Time Cop 2? What? Yeah. Ninja Turtles, they grab a scepter. Ninja sure. Turtles 3? Uh-huh. Mm. 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 I don't know. I don't know. Knowing? That's time travel. No, that that's well, a guy knowing something. That is a guy. It's there's two Nicolas Cage movies, surprisingly, with a very similar premise. And I think I've have we. There's a knowing in the one where he can see the future a little bit. Yeah, and they're the, different movies. They're though, different aren't they? movies. Yeah. Okay, right. Yeah, there's 15 minutes in the future, Nicolas Cage, and then there's that yeah. movie. I don't know. Guy pisses the time machine. Mm. Oh yeah, great, terrific. Good but stuff. the the issue is again, like if if it's game breaking, then it's not. If it's game breaking and then they don't remove it from the game, yeah. it's bad. And so the Superman one, I feel by definition, is kind of bad. Yeah, fair enough. If he was like, oh, I can only do it because I've got the power of the thing from my spaceship or whatever, and then it's run out. Yeah, you know, then you'd be like, okay, I lost fine. it. I dropped I lost it. it. I dropped it while I was going through time. <laughs> I was breaking my future or past self's neck, and I dropped it while that was happening. So I can't time travel I mean, anymore. The amount of times they've done it in Star Trek, surely there's a really terrible one in there. I can't think of like specifically one off the top of my head, but there yeah. must be, right? Yeah, there there definitely is. And also with especially original series Star Trek, they kind of played fast and loose with it. Like there's episodes where they're like, this is really important, we can't mess with the time stream. And then there's an episode where they just 
Starfleet sends them back in time. Yeah. And they're just like, well, we're back in time, everyone. We did it. Yep. We did it, everyone. That's right. What else, Mason? Here's one more email. This is from Afzal. Let's do it. Uh, hi, James and his son, Nick. Not true, but maybe. <laughs> I am very youthful. Afzal here from the UK. I can't remember the last time I've come across a channel and binge watch everything. The first video I saw was the Inhumans Caravan of Garbage. Your videos have now become my background media when I'm working. I wanted to know what was the most fun you've had making a video. Uh, similar to when James broke seeing Brendan Fraser's face in the mother. <laughs> that is a good one. <laughs> the most fun. The video game ones are fun. They are fun, especially when they're not all. I don't think they're always good because you never quite. You can't mm. really plan them out. Yeah, that's true. In the way yeah. that you can, we've talked about and I, this. And I think the problem with a but lot when of, you get something wild, it's like yeah, holy the, crap. The problem with a lot of video games ones is either you spend hours playing a game because it's difficult and it stumps you and yeah. are you even having a good time particularly? Or we play a game like a side-scrolling Marvel shooter or whatever yeah. and it's just you just churn through it. Yeah. Because if, it's, if you're playing an arcade game and you're just putting in virtual coins, there's no real challenge no. to it and it's just kind of, the only, oh, look, there's a guy. The okay, only we reason there's the next guy. We do the arcade ones and that, that I like, the ones that I think are work, the work when you just come across weird characters and scenarios. Yeah, for sure. Because the, the stake, because there's literally no stakes in it. Right. But, you know, like we did, actually I went to do like, oh, we should do a Black Panther one. Or we'll do, no, so, oh, there's a, that name or side scroll or whatever, that, oh, that yeah, arcade right, game. Right. And like it's with Spider-Man. And then I looked and I'm like, oh, we fucking did this. We did this like last <laughs> yeah. year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I think a, a, a perennial favorite for me is obviously when we did the Nintendo Entertainment System, Star Wars. Yeah. And it was a quest to acquire... Luke Skywalker's lightsaber yeah. in a way that isn't just Obi Wan hands it to you. You have to, you have to <laughs> make a series of jumps. It's and like fight pull, it's like pulling teeth. This thing, but I think that 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 felt very good. That was a that was a that good, was a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think yeah that that's there. That's an exception. And I think also like when I do video games now, I I like to plan them out and like no, I and I pick a. I've talked about this again, but I, I'll pick a particular level you know that I think is fun, and then mm-hmm. if it's like challenging, I like to get a little bit good at it. So I can just talk about it, right? Where I'm not like struggling through it and talking at the same time, uh-huh. you know? Like um the Boba Fett game that we did, well the Django Fett game. Oh yeah, we did sure, a mission sure. in that where you yeah, get yeah. the jetpack, and I'd mm-hmm. basically memorize that level yeah. before mm. recording it. I think also the ep- which is also a fucking hassle, by yeah, the way. Yeah. <laughs> Episodes as well, in terms of like movies or TV shows, I think the ones that I maybe enjoy the most are ones that have like interesting behind the scenes stuff, Bram especially Stoker. drama. Yeah, but Bram Stoker was kind of this way. Yeah. Just fascinating all around. I, oh, yeah. I love talking about yeah. that. What a weird movie. That I mean, it, it's the 30th anniversary of that movie this year. And so, of course, there's been some discourse on Twitter and stuff like that. And it was pointed out, it is fascinating that Francis Ford Coppola's family. Oh, God, I like, say Coppola all through that video as well. I'm does it matter? I don't, think, I don't think okay, it matters. Okay, great. I think it will to some people. Okay, great. Yeah. I don't know which one it is. Um, <laughs> That Francis Ford Coppola's family, like it's a nepotism family, but they're all just wildly talented. <laughs> yeah. It's just a weird coincidence. Like yeah. uh, Francis Ford Coppola just got his son, son, yeah, to Roman, do the, special, to do the effects. special effects, and they're just am- he's just like you want to you want to have a crack at this, yeah. And he's like, like yeah, 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 sure, I, I probably could. Yeah. And I guess I could do cinema quality special effects, <laughs> sure. But from a, from a bygone era, also, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Great yeah. stuff. So that's, yeah, that's good. That again, Tuesday. That is but, good. But no, I do enjoy the Caravan of Garbages generally. But I also like researching stuff. Sure. It's a lot more kind of like, because you also want to get it right, where I feel like in Caravan of Garbage, when you're saying your opinion, I'm like, this doesn't have to be right. No, that's true. Like, it, yeah. it just has to be what I think about it. All we need <laughs> is one of the editors to get the right facts and then put them on the screen <laughs> that's right. to make us look like dumbasses, which yeah. I appreciate. Absolutely. You know? uh, of, of the stuff, of like the. The ones where you research a topic and you make an essay. Yeah. Is something recently where you're like, this was a lot I, of fun I really to liked about. the Spider Man suit heist one. That was good, the, yeah. Where somebody stole three Spider Man suits yeah. from the Tobey Maguire movie. Because also, I found out a bunch of information that nobody had bothered to find or had been updated yeah, right. about what happened to the guy and what he's doing now who stole it. Yeah, right. And all of this. Uh, and also, additional information about a bunch of other shit that he'd apparently stolen and sure, got right. away with. And I'm like, yeah. that did one was just like a rabbit hole of just weird stuff. And I even left out a bunch of stuff. And I'm like, that's probably too personal. So I'm going to take that out. Right. Because I don't yeah. want anyone to actually find this guy. But um, yeah, and I've got a few others like that, which I won't spoil because oh, I don't want anyone to steal A couple in the, couple in the up, tank. Very could be, exciting. Could yeah. be good, but we'll see. Very yeah. nice. Anyway, anything else? No, that's, the whole, that's the whole show, I think, folks. Great stuff. <laughs> Great oh. stuff, Mason. Who is who is this? It's me. It's oh. little James. Oh, I'm under the table. Huh? Yeah. I got my microphone. 
It's a little microphone. Are you? Because regular James is here. Are you a separate yeah, guy? Yeah, I'm here too. Yeah. yeah. I'm a separate guy. Huh. Do you want a seat or something, little James? Um, you don't want one. You seem, you seem actually offended that I've asked you. I thought that was common courtesy. That well, I'm, it's been, you know, it's nearly 400 episodes. You've never even bothered to ask me. I so didn't know you were there on account of you being so little, <laughs> little James. It's rude. I don't think it is rude. I, had I known you were there, I would have absolutely. I'm not in the practice of looking under the table, really. Little James, you probably should have said something, yeah. you know, to be honest. Yeah. I'm on your side, mate. <laughs> Thanks, little... regular size, James. <laughs> Just between you and me, this guy sucks. <laughs> I didn't know he was there. Yeah, we didn't. And then we were nice. There's a seat, right? There's two seats. He has his th- three seats. He's got the pick of seats. Yeah, I'd this pick guy. him up. I'd put him on the seat. Right? Yeah. God damn. Yeah. He's quiet again. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what he's up to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's put his headphones in. He's texting. <laughs> God damn. Anyway, you were saying before think, we were interrupted. Before, before we were really interrupted. <laughs> See, also, what's weird is he like he was like good job, like he was he was being nice. Yes. But I think it was just a, like I think it, it maybe it was sarcastic. Maybe that's what he was doing there. Yeah, maybe. I don't yeah, know. I don't know. I don't trust. I don't trust. I don't like this guy. I don't trust his motives. Yeah. I don't know that's... how we'd get him out. Maybe I'll put out like a rat trap. So yeah. yeah. Get him. I'll get a broom or something. <laughs> anyway, thanks, is folks. He what is he? I don't you know. know. I didn't get a good look at him. He was shrouded in in mystery and shadows because he's under the table. <laughs> I don't know. I think he's got rat DNA or something. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah, maybe. <laughs> anyway. Folks, thanks so much for listening to the podcast. We absolutely appreciate it. Thank you for subscribing. Thank uh, you for telling your friends about it because that's how we get new listeners. That's right. And thanks uh, for leaving a five-star review on your podcast platform of choice. James, you got any reviews got there? got a couple. You can just do it in an app. It's terrific. Maybe mm-hmm. that's what little James is doing right now with his well, headphones yeah. in. probably giving two and a half star it reviews. It probably is. Yeah, don't do that. But, no, it really helps the show. This one is from Wacky Wally who says, The Weekly Planet is, should be seven a seven-day service podcast. Obviously, James is covering all things Sunday, but what about, what's the planet doing to service my Tuesday afternoon, Thursday evenings, etc.? Mason is only one man. Yeah, we should, we should do a live service podcast. It's updated yeah. a few sentences every day. I have considered like very vaguely because there are people who do like the movie news every day, but I'm like, I don't want to do that also. <laughs> right, just sure. be like, what's Warner Brothers today? I guess. It's like just the idea of doing that literally every day, mm-hmm. I just don't think I could. And I like kind of filtering out a bunch of shit. And also some days, yeah. not a lot happening. No, nah, nothing's going you know? on. That's right. And this one is also uh, up here, Mason with five studs from Big Time G Rant, who says, "Great podcast. This is my favorite podcast. I've been listening regularly since 2015. I've been a great. It's been a great experience. Definitely would recommend to anyone even a little bit interested in comic books, movies, TV shows, and sometimes video games too. Each week, it is a, is a 50-50 chance between a Twilight re- review or a Snake Eyes review. That's very true. Snake Eyes next week, next obviously. Week. We'll squeeze that's that week. in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, folks, thank you so much. Uh, if you want to get into contact with us, you can go to Weekly Planet Pod." At Gmail, at Facebook, at Twitter, at Bandcamp. Uh, you can go to the Planet Broadcasting Great Mates Facebook group. You can go to the Weekly Planet Pod Discord and subreddit. You can also go to the Weekly Planet Minecraft server if, oh, you, know, yeah. if you don't bloody mind. Yeah, uh, yeah. You can follow our friend Rob Collings <gasps> at Raw Collings on Twitter and at the Weekly Planet on Twitter. That's the place for all the uh, most pertinent Weekly Planet updates. That's right. But if you want to follow two speaking idiots. Of week, just quickly, uh, speaking there's, of idiots. There's Weekly Planet on, there's TikTok. Oh, yeah. We've, there's Eclipse Channel. Oh, yeah. And, you know, there's other things going That's on. That's right. Yeah. Check it out. Yeah. Anyway, sorry, go on. Uh, you can follow me uh, on uh, Twitter at Wikipedia Brown and on Instagram at Nick Meso. Uh, James is Mr. Sunday Movies everywhere. If you want to support the show, you can go to patreon.com slash Mr. Sunday Movies. Yep. You can chuck in a buck or an amount you would not miss. Ooh. That's the key because times are tough out there. They certainly are, You can yeah. just listen to the podcast. That's, That's fine. fine. Absolutely fine. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. It's the least you could do to yeah, listen yeah. to the podcast. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, you might want to support little James. With, yeah. Uh, with a, with I think I'm going to put out a glue trap and then throw him over the fence. <laughs> Making somebody else's problem. <laughs> yeah, sure, right. yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll rehouse him. You yeah, know? great idea. Yeah. Uh, you can also go to bigsandwich.co for nine US dollars per month. Um, bonus podcasts, movie commentaries, early videos, ad free feed. James is just having a big old laugh about the greatest new character that's ever been created, Little James. <laughs> just, uh, yeah, that's right. Because so much character development <laughs> in just that, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, what, a, what a wonder. Yeah. Um, I'm glad this happened at the end of the show because I've just been thinking about it. For yeah. The, for, I have got to be for the rest of the night anyway. That's but, right. You know. Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you to the Brute and the Basilisk and Rackham for all our musical themes. We have T-shirts over at uh, tpublic.com. You just search for The Weekly Planet. Get one if you like. Yeah. Show it off on the bloody bloody forums, why don't you? That's right. That's or right. in real life. Yeah. 
And that's the whole show next week. Horror movie horror extravaganza. Stuff. Spookiest time of the year, mm. not just tax time. That's right. Can't wait. Uh, mm. I do like talking about horror stuff. I also make Claire watch a bunch of horror stuff. Oh, yeah. For suggestible. Um, Did you make her watch Halloween Ends? No, nah, I wouldn't okay. make her watch any of those. Okay. Maybe if they were better. Mm, sure, sure, sure. I did, yeah, I don't know. Okay, what, what, are you watching over, what are you watching over at Suggestible? Great question. This week, Dano, I might do The Fall, the one about the big tower they get stuck oh, in the yeah, tower. Oh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, that seems, that seems very suggestible. Yeah, uh, there's a bunch. I do have a list of things, but I can't remember where I'm at. Mason. Okay. I, I'll maybe do some older Terrifier stuff. Terrifier 2? Oh, yeah. yeah. I could recommend Terrifier. <laughs> maybe I will. Do we have to watch Terrifier 1 to do Terrifier 2? Great question, Dano. Yeah. Seems too grotty. Yeah, I don't know if I like how grotty no, it can. looks, though. Actually, I do want to watch um, new. We could do new Pinhead. Oh, Hellraiser! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe that was the other yeah. one I was thinking of. I think it's on, it's on Disney Plus. Oh, it might be. It's, it's definitely on. It's on it's Hulu. On, it's, it's on, on Hulu. Hellraiser. It's on. Yeah. Um, I think it's free on something. Yeah, I yeah. don't know which one. Are, are you astounded? Maybe we've mentioned this before. Are you sure. astounded that clowns haven't come back? Like public clowns? Oh, Have we had that right, spate yeah. of clowns? Yeah, no. I think they're all. Um, the people, oh, you mean for parties or just like clowns hanging around? And, no, I mean like, stuff. remember when clowns kept showing yeah, up? Yeah, places? I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You'd yeah. think with the world falling apart, as it sometimes is suggested it is being, yeah. um, that there'd be another spate of clowns, but I Maybe guess Maybe they not. are, but no one cares, you know? It's like <laughs> fad. It's true, yeah, it's yeah. Over, yeah. You know? Yeah, cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Don't know. People are, someone's like, oh, I'm a spooky clown. What am I going to do? And they're like, I don't know. Can you fix inflation? Yeah, exactly. Spooky clown. I got yeah. bigger problems. Can idiot. you ask my boss for a raise on behalf of me, spooky mm, clown? That's right. Yeah, great stuff. I've got this weird clone following me around. Can you say, <laughs> you got anything spooky to that? <laughs> clown? Clown? Yeah. All right. Thanks, everyone. Grab that gem, you guys. We will see you next week. Bye. Goodbye.